Hartford, Connecticut. It is time. Best time of the week right here. No doubt. No doubt about it. Lots of fun stuff to cover today. Lots of interesting historical stories to be shared on today's version, today's edition of the Dent Sea Scrolls. I am your host, Rambo Bambo McGee. Don't you forget it. And I'm going to take you through an epic tale today, an epic tale of DSP and the money match that almost, almost never was. As you see on your screens now. Oh, before I get to that, I should do some business style announcements. Obviously, tomorrow, that being said, boys are going live. And our guest has been leaked. <laughs> leaked is a loaded word. But it has been. I am announcing it. It is the one, the only, the Ludwig World Order. Coming in tomorrow for our Halloween style show. Should be a lot of fun. And I hope to see you there. Tomorrow, Halloween style show. All right. So, you know what that means. Costumes, all that nonsense. You know, you know how it goes. No need to shout that out. <laughs> we got business here first. All right. So, so here we go. I, I bring, bring this up for a reason. Um, this is something uh, uh, I'm assuming most of you have seen this page before. Um, this is the fourth place at Evo Championship Series 2005 in the game called Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. DSP got fourth place and this, and don't you ever forget it. He won't let you forget it, right? He will not let you forget it. So here we go. That is the fourth place. I also want to show you a gentleman that goes by the name of Afro Legends. I, don't, I won't show his full career history to you yet. I'm going to save that to a little bit later. But I just want you to know before we start our story that this video here is from 2018, and he is still... Maybe we'll see some people drop some member bombs. <laughs> <laughs> God. Big ups down for a punch. Fucking legend, dude. Amazing. This is a huge bomb. <laughs> Big ups, dude. And you got a Rocky card. I don't know if that's a good card or bad card in your mind, but I think it is. Two gold star Rocky in the house. But the gentleman on your right uh, is Afro Legends, and he's playing uh, Zexus Onuki here. And uh, this is as early as 2018, still playing high level games, high level fighting games. In the community, he ends up losing this match. I'm not going to show the match because it's kind of whatever. But this right is a gentleman. We got about 30 oh. likes on the stream. We agreed to get a lot more than that because we have hundreds of people watching. Thank you so much for that, Phil. Thanks for reminding everybody. Uh, so, just wanted to show you here that Afro Legends did turn out to be a a a, a uh, fighting game player with some staying power. All right, that's what I wanted to share here. Um, so now I'm going to take you back from 2018. We're going to go to 2005, August of 2005, okay? Uh, the year is August 2005, my friends. And what happens this year? Well, we have a post here that's set up by the one, the only, the DSP. And what does he do, though? What does he do? He is putting down this post. He started this post, which means, obviously, he, he, he has something to say. And, oh, he has something to say, my friends. Let's get right to it here. This is what he says. It has been decided that since Afro Legends... Like, okay, real quick, I want to say, it has been decided. When he says it has been decided, it means he decided. So I just want to get that out there. It has been decided that since Afro Legends has been taking so much, talking so much shit about me these past few weeks... There's going to be a side bet grudge match at Evo on Cigar Bob's cabinet. This is going to be an official side bet taking place. <laughs> I like to, <laughs> this is an official Currently side we're at bet 40 taking likes place. And climbing. It'd be great if we could get a bunch because we have almost 200 viewers. It'd be great <laughs> if we could get some more likes. It helps the stream and the channel in general for discoverability purposes. Okay? Thank you, Phil. A lot of parties have a vested interest in this match. Oh, they're vested. They must have hit the vest goal, those other parties. Uh, including both OGs and newcomers. So a lot of parties have a vested interest in this match. Reminder, this is a person. A oh, big ups down forward punch, by the way. Thanks so much for that. I, I know I shouted it out, but I just want to make sure I say it again. Sometimes I, I to get through the story, I, I, I go through shout outs too quickly. Sometimes I feel so sorry about that, guys. But I do appreciate it. It's very meaningful. Uh, but a lot of parties have a vested interest in this match, including both OGs and newcomers. So what this man is saying is, 
Even original gamers are into, in, into this one, okay? Newcomers alike. OGs and newcomers alike. It doesn't fucking matter. Everyone has a vested interest in this match, all right? <laughs> so, uh, it's still going. Obviously, the rules. I'm not going to read all the rules. Blah, blah, blah. There will be no coaching allowed. I like that stipulation. There will be no coaching on either side of this bet. Cheering and or shit talking is encouraged, but under no circumstances will coaching be allowed. Okay, okay. One stipulation. This is the stipulation I want you to remember tonight. Uh, if at Afro Legends, who nobody, nobody seems to have met in person, ends up being some known OG player who is pretending to be somebody else, the bet is off. So Phil is doing the classic, uh, if, you're, <laughs> if you're posting under someone else's name to hide your real identity, the bet is off. Yeah, it's very, uh, I, <laughs> the old, uh, you don't want anyone to get the slip on you, huh? You can't fool me. <laughs> If you if you turn out to be Justin Wong, this thing's off, okay? Sound good? <laughs> That's amazing. And now, the ante. All right, now you got to ante up. Ante up. In true DSP fashion, reminder, DSP is writing this post. In true DSP fashion, you know how I always bring the big bets. Well, unfortunately, I'm unemployed. All right, unemployed. And this would be unemployed uh, by Best Buy. This is before he has worked at Sikorsky, so he can't even say Sikorsky Aircraft in this one. This is before that. This is before Sikorsky. 50 likes, so we're here to get 100. I don't know why people would come and enjoy the stream and not like it. That's just really weird. <laughs> that is really weird. Uh, so, which means things are a bit tight, okay? Things are a bit tight. Things are definitely a bit tight. But that does not mean I am bitching out, all right? So... Notice when someone has to say this in all uppercase, that means they've been called out for this very thing before. Just want to make sure we realize that, everybody. Uh, you know, if you have to make this clear to everybody, that means you've done it before. But okay. <laughs> so DSP will ante up his, his hoary real arcade pro stick for this bet. And uh, Af Afro Legends will be matching this wager with $80 of his own money. So I do have that that link actually still works, if you can believe it. It's a live link. Not even on the Wayback Machine. We are here. That's a hoary real arcade pro stick. What's up, movie sign? Big ups, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. We got a fun one tonight for you, I promise. And this one has extra large buttons. This was, the price is not here, of course, but, um, you know. A lot of good reviews are on this thing. This is a hot thing. Oh, Mark Jackson says this stick is ass. <laughs> but the reviews are hype, and uh, there we go. Doesn't have the price, unfortunately. But Hori's, Hori's hype, right? Hori is definitely the company that everyone loves. So there we go. That's what Phil is putting on the line, right? So a used Hori Real Arcade Pro Stick versus $80, all right? That is the side bet, the ultimate side bet. Excuse moi. The ultimate side bet has been shown. Let's go down. Two. I love this. Let, let's just start out with the second post. <laughs> Who cares? You guys both suck, okay? <laughs> well, that's one way to handle it. <laughs> the, first, the second post. Who cares? <laughs> Imagine writing this, this, this book, and then the second comment, the, second, the first post is, Who cares? You guys both suck. <laughs> I love it. Let's move. Let's move. Uh, so Marn, someone we've seen before on the show, on this show, says, I bet Afro Legends equals coal, which is in terms of skill level. I'll put $10 on DSP. Um, Mike Watson, a uh, famous, fa famous, the, the, uh, uh, famous person most of us know out there from his DSP is a piece of shit. I want to get that out on YouTube clip. That is that Watson. I met Afro at Camelot a couple weeks ago. He didn't play, but he seemed like a cool dude. Good luck to you both, Watson. So nothing wrong with that. Just a nice thing. Uh, Cigar Bob of, uh, of uh, much fame. He's the guy that creates uh, cabinets or, or puts them together. Uh, he's the person that made the cabinet that was on the back of that truck in that one famous picture. I would wish I got it ready, but uh, of, of Justin Wong playing DSP. He's the person that made that cabinet, I believe. Anyways, he made cabinets in some form and fashion. He says, I'll take that bet if you are serious. So look at that, the wording here, if you are serious. So it's like, if you're actually serious, you want to bet for DSP, I'll take it. <laughs> right? That's what I take from that. Call me crazy. <laughs> Marn does take up on that. 
Taiji says, I'll put 20 on Afro. I predict the score will be 10-0. I want to make this be out there. This is in the very same month that Phil does get that fourth place that I showed you to start with. It wasn't here yet, though. It, it didn't happen yet. But it's, very, it's in this same actual month, right? This is the August that that happens in, which is interestingly enough. But what's up, Dark Disciple? Okay, so as, as you can see, the respect levels for Phil, I predict this score will be 10-0. And if you are serious, yeah, the side bet is during that tournament. Yes, Dune Messiah. This, is, this side bet will take place during the 2005 EVO. That's the plan here. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, next up, we have, um, uh, I predict the score will be 10-0, of course. Um, I'll, I, I'll bet my life on Afro. 60 likes now. We're at 60. Again, we're going for 100, guys. If you could, please <laughs> like the stream. And, of course, all of the support is greatly appreciated. Big ups. Thanks for that, DSP. I bet my life on Afro. Make sure to record the matches and reactions. Take them down, Afro. So far, we have Marn in support of DSP and no one else. Cigar Bob says, damn, doesn't seem like there are any more suckers for me to bet with. Oh, well, at least I have Marn. No one else wants to bet. No one else wants to bet. <laughs> Decoy says, I'll bet $1 million on Afro. I think you're very good, Phil, but Afro is on another level. Damn, makes me wish I was there. Blanca would, Blanca would be biting heads off, Roar Decoy. So we have no support for DSP outside of Marn so far. All right. Just keep it, keeping it real, keeping it real. Um, people being dumb. Sometimes when I see posts like this, I want to tell Afro just to lose, just so this guy will end up dying over a Street Fighter side bet. I mean, come on. That would just be comical. That's a future DSP fan, you know. You know what I'm saying? If you get my drift, right? <laughs> that comedy level. Not breaking out Titus yet, but I'm very close to. Uh, next, we have Alback40 on Afro, um, only because we have played and I know how good he is. I'm a solid player. My best day, he is 5-1 to one favorite. Dude, Afro is sick in the fucking head good. Yeah, that's how good he is. Oh, I have a good job, and I'm willing to back him even more if he asks me. Kick some ass, bro. All right, so another more support for Afro piling in. What the hell? It's going crazy. Um... And this one right here, I wanted to push, point out because it's interesting. This is, uh, this is the post that DSP said. Uh, he says, well, I guess you have selective memory as you've been talking a lot of shit, not him. And I checked for any shit talking that Afro Legends did. I can't find anything. I, I couldn't. And I wish I did because I'd be showing it right the fuck now. But I could not. I could not. <laughs> and Cigar Bob says, Afro is just calling DSP out. There ne has never been a shit talker like you, DSP. It sure makes it fun to beat your ass after you run your mouth all day, every day. Thank goodness you are an okay guy in real life. God, it will be so great to get this on video, and I'm going to call it now. 10-2, to two, Afro wins. I know I'm giving you two wins, but who knows? Maybe he doesn't know how to handle a Vega offline. But Honda Blanca will have no chance. Anyone who wants to put money on DSP, I'll go up to 20 on Afro. <laughs> Vikes, I would, I would like tease you out, you know. I would edge it, but unfortunately, there is no, there is no video of that match. I'll just say it now that we don't, we don't get video of this match if it ever happens. All right, ten dollars on Afro. Um, <laughs> apparently you haven't been on in SRK Live. Apparently you haven't been reading. I, I like this. So this person says apparently you haven't been in SRK Live, which I guess is another chat service. Uh, Shinji Gohan says, uh, apparently you haven't been reading these forums. If DSP isn't sh talking shit with Shirts or Watson, he's talking shit to CB or Afro Legends. <laughs> so everyone knows that DSP is a shit talker. Next person, we don't know who this is, says, I'll put $100 on my homie Afro. Serious bet if nobody wants to take, anybody wants to take it. Uh, um, two, okay, so we have one confident better here. Two dollars on DSP. So this guy's super confident. Where did he put that two spot down? You ready to back that up? I got the two spot. That's how confident I am in my boy. Two. <laughs> I got the two. Shout outs for the two. <laughs> so Perry All, I, <laughs> I want to uh, point this out. Perry All says, if Afro Legend's really that good, I heard he is 11 years old. I mean... 
uh, I, I, this is adding intrigue to me. I was like, okay, maybe he's 11 years old at this point. Wow. I mean, cool. Uh, System won't, don't know who that is. Maybe DSP actually, but I don't know. So, LOL. No, never mind. It's not DSP. Uh, LOL, dude, too much game facts. LOL. Uh, so, anyways, people talking about this game, people talking about this game, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to uh, the two on D. Let me get back to DSP's response. After all this has been, I've shown you everything that's gone down, basically. You've seen, we got a two dollar, a very, yeah, thank you, shiny teeth. Very generous two dollar bet. DSP enters the, enters back into the thread, and he says, the funny thing here is that nobody seems to know who Afro is, IRL. So many people are quick to back him, but has anybody ever seen this guy in person? I've heard so many things, like he's only 21, and that Jason Wilson isn't even able to beat him. But then I look around, and this guy has never been in a tournament, a money match, nothing. Hence the reason. I think this is all an elaborate trick, and the guy doesn't exist or something. So Phil is on, like he is was today, about Comcast. He is on the conspiracy theories already. He thinks there's a fake person being created. An elaborate trick. <laughs> to, get, for, to what end, I don't know. But you tell me. To, to, what is the end goal of this elaborate trick? But, oh, yeah, that's, that is good. See, oh, that's a good point. But that shows you how paranoid some, I mean, how much has he been fucked with in your life if you're worried about this? At, at the age of 23 years old, before you know what YouTube is. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, nuclear track, that's exactly right. To fool DSP, the main character in the entire world. He doesn't even know what a troll is yet, you know? He doesn't have a persona. Well, he has a persona on these fucking forums that everyone hates. But this is incredible. <laughs> so he is already paranoid about... Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Afro Legends is Jaha. That's what he's worried about, really. <laughs> All right. Are you Asian or not? Just answer that. <laughs> Joke's on you. He is. But it's not Jaha. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Taiji says, Afro came to Camelot a few weeks ago. Like Mike said earlier, Phil just doesn't read any other posts, except the ones that agree with him or disagree with him. Afro came to Camelot a few weeks ago. Uh, he's a nice guy. Don't worry. He'll be there at Evo to play you. Okay, so he's, he's bracketed it up. Uh, Shinji says, so, <laughs> so no one's ever seen him before. <laughs> yeah, this is Shinji Gohan's person out the exact thing I said. So no one's ever seen him before. Phil wrote that, right? That's quoting Phil. And then Shinji Gohan says, I met Afro at Camelot a couple of weeks ago. That was from Mike Watson, as well as the post above. So I guess Watson and Taiji saw something made of their imagination. <laughs> uh, I've heard so many things. Who said that? Wilson is good. Our games are very competitive. He gives me a run for my money. Response to Dark Side Phil. Every post Dark Side Phil does, even in the year 2005, is met with, with opposition. Opposition. Not douchebag opposition, by the way, but just already pointing out all the fucking stupidity he says. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Greater Force says, I, t I told you already, I already met the guy. Great man. Not everyone that's good. I love this quote, by the way. Not everyone that's good in a fighting game has been registered in SRK, unlike what, you're th what you think. You know, that's what he's trying to say, basically. Unlike what you might think. Everyone's saying he exists, he exists. Corn Go says, I'll take both those bets. I like Afro, Afro over DSP. Everyone does, except for that, that roller, that high roller, $2 high roller and Marn. So, so far, 22 bucks on DSP and uh, over 100 on, on uh, Afro Legends. I should have kept count, but it's too late now. <laughs> uh, this, is to, this is from the man himself. Good luck, DSP. Hopefully we have some good games. Okay, hopefully you have some good games and I can not actually confirm that, but I do think that's Afro Legends himself, but I don't know. I mean, we have good games. It must be him. But this is where it gets interesting and this is where it takes an odd turn. Okay, so hold on to your butts here. You got to go on a little bit of adventure with me here. All right, so someone says here coming up at Fireball Trap says, congratulations on the win, Afro Legends. Congratulations on the win, Afro Legends. Okay. And we have another person saying, um, Dar, I was, I was, I see he was able to back up all that shit talking he annoyed us all with. So Rico is seeming to claim here that 
Afro Legends was shit talking DSP, which I couldn't find because I think maybe his name was System One and I just couldn't find it. Uh, some of them says, "Congrats, Afro." Mokura says, "Did anyone get game footage?" Snake chimes in. We t- we saw Snake last week as well. Snake says, "I played Afro, pretty good overall, but breakable." How much did he win from this money match anyway? Congrats. Oh, somebody, someone want to explain a grand on the line part, please? Uh, so this is, someone wrote this, by the way, it's gone. It was deleted. Okay, this was deleted, this post by Box. It says, in the SD money match between Afro Legend DSP, DSP is up 6-4 so far. First to 20, a grand on the line. All right? I, I, I'm just, it, it, it gets weird here, okay? It gets weird. But you want to try to keep up. It gets weird here. Uh, well, this is a, this, <laughs> This was first, this, well, this was his first tournament ever, much less playing good players offline. Congrats, Afro, right? Um, so then we have Triforce, okay? Triforce comes into play. Uh, somebody says Empire backed, this is again from a deleted post, okay? Deleted posts. Jeff Soares says Empire backed DSP with 1,000. Jaha and Watson Afro with 500 ETH. So Jaha enters the, the storyline here tonight, and he had $500 on Afro Legends. A, a court, okay, this, Allegedly, okay, I will say allegedly here, all right? This is allegedly. So Jaha and Watson both had 500 each on Afro, allegedly. Okay, Triforce comes in and says, hey, we did? Could you tell me why and who in the Empire in particular made this bet? Shit, forget all the more importantly, when did this bet take place? Please, someone talk to me, okay? So this is Triforce saying, like, hey, I don't even know about this bet, okay? So I don't know what this person is talking about. I don't, I, I just don't, I, I haven't, I haven't spoken to DSP since shit. I forgot that might be referencing their little rift, which I still need to cover someday, but not yet. Uh, so he did not make this bet is what he's saying here. Okay. In, in short, I did not make that bet. Could anyone tell me when this bet happened? Okay. Uh, Box comes in and says Fusion IRC was talking to someone on a cell phone who relayed that information. So someone on a cell phone relayed that information. If no bet was made, then it was a mistake. But Fusion's contact was fairly credible at the time, with the Justin Wong being sent to loser's bracket actually being true. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Okay? So now, what's going on? Now we have fake news about a bet. Okay? Triforce responds. Okay, to be honest, I didn't even think it was you making this up. I thought someone else completely, but thanks for standing up and correcting your mistakes. No hard feelings. Okay? Also, uh, uh, Triforce saying, like, you know, Empire will always pay what it owes. People outside the Empire. Maybe late at time. <laughs> Thanks, Triforce, for being honest. Maybe late at times, but we pay what we owe. <laughs> Empire always pays his debts. Late sometimes. That's a, that's a new uh, Game of Thrones tagline or whatever. Family crest. Family motto. Triforce always pays his debts. Maybe late at times, but we pay what we owe. Doesn't sound as cool. Let's move on positively. <laughs> okay. Now True Tech comes in. Now True Tech comes in with some news. Breaking news, you might say. LMAO. <laughs> Triforce is a, uh, is a, he is a character. He is a real person, but he does wear a power glove. Uh, <laughs> LMAO at this shit, the bet never happened. I'm hearing different reasons for why the one I heard the most was Afro Legends didn't want to play it on Cigar Bob's Cab which, if it's true, is total bullshit, as it's the best thing known to mankind. I know it never happened, because you can see I had money on DSP in the topic, and guess what? I didn't lose any money, nor did I gain any. So now, this is the first time someone is saying the bet never happened now. That's why this story is crazy, okay? Hang on to your butts for this one, all right? The bet now is apparently never happening. All right? All right, all right. Uh, so this person says, uh, well, if you can't block on a stick because of P360s and you're used to eight way, then would, would having a money match really be fair? So Shinji Gohan is, is defending, uh, the alleged choice by Afro Legends to not do the money match since the controls were different than what he's used to. Okay. So this is just, again, it's all allegedly a lot of different information here. I never expect to find fake news on a SRK <laughs> forum, but here we go. There is fake news on a forum. All right. Next we have Cigar Bob's cab had perfect 360s installed on it, and anyone with half a brain will tell you that characters that require a constant DB position will not be as effective with that stick. I seriously doubt that Afro was afraid of the bet. 
DSP is very good, as he sure proved. See now, so now we know, as he sure proved, okay? So now the tournament has already happened, and Phil has gotten fourth place at this point, okay? It's tough to keep up with, I know. But Guy, he has 70 <laughs> likes. If you're having a good time tonight, you give the stream a like, we hit 100 likes, we'll do a celebratory bubble blow. That would be swell if you could do that. That big ups for that. But okay, so the fourth place has now happened. I'm not sure what he got for that, though, like what the prize money was. Let me ask my, my, uh, my uh, producer here in the, in the room here. Uh, could, what, Justin, what does fourth place get in, uh, in the year of 2005? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Okay. I just wasn't sure. It's good to help that. But okay. Now, DSP is very good, as he sure proved. But in my opinion, I think Afro would win in a race to 10. Okay? Here we go. Let's move forward positively. Let's move forward positively. Uh, Cigar, Bob, Cigar Bob, the person that, ha that made the cabinet that this money match was going to take place in, says, Nico had no problem hitting my corners. The main reason Afro didn't play on my cab was because he is not accustomed to a stick that stiff and bizarre feeling. I can understand it. They did attempt to get it going, but they couldn't find a PS2 that Afro's stick would work on. Maybe it just it wasn't meant to happen. So this is the real news. I take this as real. Cigar Bob is a person we've seen before, a member of the community everyone seems to respect. And uh, he was the person that owned the cabinet that this money match was going to take place on. So this money match did not happen in the year of 2005, okay? 2005, this money match did not happen. It oddly was reported as happening in Afro Legends 1. That was all fake news, okay? We come here for the real news, all right? We come here for the real news. Next, we're going to move forward positively to DSP or Afro. Shirts comes in, says DSP or Afro. Anytime, any place, anywhere, STRK. Congrats, though. But anytime, any place, anywhere, any amount of money, anywhere, anytime, any place. Bring in the heat. All right, bring in the heat. Next up, we have. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's sticking up, but I'm on a point. Okay. By the way, this person said, I just want to short out this. By the way, congrats, DSP, on your fourth place finish. I still own you on live, JK. So Phil did get some congratulations here. Right. And then we get back to. Here we go. This is confirmed Afro Legends. Okay, so congratulations on your fourth place finish at Evo, Phil. You deserved it. It was unfortunate our match couldn't go through. You know better than anyone how much I wanted to do it. I asked you countless times on Friday and Saturday. I even think you got annoyed, LOL. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Maybe we can do it at the next tourney. Okay, so what can we learn from this statement from the one, the only, the Afro Legends? He tried to do it. He asked Phil countless times. On Friday and Saturday, Phil got annoyed, and I guess it wasn't meant to be. Okay? The match did not happen. We know that now. We know that now. Now, this post, we are going to leave it. We are going to leave it. But we're going to come back to it. All right? We're going to leave it and come back to it. So remember everything you got, everything you learned so far, and we're going to come back to this one. Okay? We're going to come back to this as time passes. Right? Hang on to your butts here. So I want to show uh, a few things uh, that happened at the tournament because, you know, it's fun. <laughs> so this is 2005, the tournament that Phil did get fourth place. Okay? So DSP did have to go through the losers, the losers bracket, uh, to get through there, uh, which I think is interesting. Uh, DSP says, uh, as confirms in this different post, not the, same, the post I was reading before, but he confirms it here. First and foremost, Afro Legends and I have not played. As Afro finished ninth in ST. He managed to beat Mike Watson in the tournament and eventually lost to someone and then, then to Jason Cole in the losers. Okay. Uh, this actual post is deleted. I don't know why, but it is. I couldn't find it. So this is the post. So Afro Legends and I, uh, proven by DSP that the match did not happen in this year. Let's move forward. Want to keep our mind on this money match, this fabled not money match. Now we're all invested in this money match. It has to happen sometime, right? Uh, random N, it be on point. Quit making shit up about DSP paying Afro. I'm rooming with the fucking guy, and that shit never happened whatsoever. The bet was HRAP versus 80. Oh, the Hori Action Pro versus 80 bucks. No one has talked of that much money. DSP doesn't know anyone who would even front that type of money. Shut the fuck up. If you don't know what's happening, fucking clown shoes. Right, so the match never happened. Just more proof it never fucking happened. Uh, and I do want to show this. So DSP wins the tournament while the in like this thread is the results thread live updates. So DSP wins 
you know, during this, okay? And I do want to show you this very telling quote here from Dream TR, which is a tournament organizer we've seen before. He says, real results were from Sugarland. I was there. I should know. Last unknown ST top eight player was Il Shil from SoCal Xbox Live Honda player. Uh, if you look here, Il Shil did get seventh place in, in the, the tournament. Okay, so he got seventh place there. Uh, but this is funny. Uh, Super Turbo highlights. Yes, I know it's PS1 and things make no sense. So what does that mean? That means that the results here don't make any sense because it's not what you would expect in terms of results, okay? Now, why would you think that? It's because it's a bad port and everyone fucking knew it. But I wanted to point that out that this was definitely... Phil will say, you know, try to retcon this and say like it's a, you know... I mean, he's, he's admitted before that even some people in the community didn't think it was a real win and, and just an example of that. Uh, after DSP loses in first round of 64 to Bucktooth, shout outs to Bucktooth, uh, he ousts Choi, me, Watson, Flash, and James Romney to make tape top eight. So he, he went through some big names. Let's not get it twisted, okay? He went through John Choi. He went through me. He went through Mike Watson, Flash, James Romney to make top eight. Console factor in effect as Choi was forced to sweep Vega with Roundhouse because he could not uppercut. So more details there is that he could uh, forced to sweep Vega with Roundhouse because he could not do uppercut with that port. Is again... An excuse. If Phil said that, we'd say it's an excuse. So I will say that's the excuse as well, but I'm just sharing what's there, okay? It's up to you to decide what to do with that. Uh, if you look through the rest of this post, it's just P no one really cares about Phil's finish. No one really talks about it. A few people say congrats, Phil, but that's it. Uh, but DSP, Bucktooth did beat DSP. Shout outs to Bucktooth. All right. I'm going to move forward positively to Viscont. Viscont in the house, okay? So Viscont wrote a extremely long uh, post, uh, way, and he admits it. He says, way too long Evo post. And this is his, exper his experience with Evo that year of 2005, okay? So, I want to show this. Um, uh, it, I want to, because it's just interesting. He explains his whole experience, his whole experience. There is some funny stuff, though. I want to do find, and so I can show you that. Okay, so this is where this uh, first happens. It says, uh, not much else happened on Friday. Well, most I want to take time to refute that any refute the money match nonsense I heard about later on. The money match nonsense is Consider referring to the, to the channel if you're not a sub. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's new by the way. <laughs> that subscribe alert. <laughs> subscribe and Sam steals a tire. Not a joke. <laughs> All right. So DSP was supposed to be playing Afro Legends for a thousand, backed by. Uh, Triforce, and I was supposed to be playing Ricky in CS CVS2 for 500, and I was supposed to be playing someone I've never heard of for 250 at Marvelous Capcom 2. Almost all of these matches are complete and utter trash. I think Vi was already drunk and partying when he was supposed to be playing for money. The only one of these that even was supposed to happen was right. DSP. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. Speak up, Smooth, for the re-up. Good luck on your pull. Uh, the only one of these that was really supposed to happen was DSP versus Afro Legend. That was supposed to be for tomorrow and not even likes, close everyone. to 1,000. 20 more to hit 100. That's the goal for the night. Not even close to 1,000. I don't know who was getting off giving out information, but it's fucking retarded. In Viscon's words. Okay, so more intrigue about this fake money match that never happened, okay? This is now three threads now that have been taken over by this fake money match nonsense. <laughs> I told you this was a deep one. We're going so deep tonight. Sir Moise doesn't know what to do. His head is exploding right now, how deep we are right now. Let's keep going. And the last thing that happened Friday night was a huge congregation around the fat burger. <laughs> burger, 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 burger. I had a chance to talk to Cigar Bob and DSP, mostly about molesting... Un okay, so I'm just going to read this as it is. I don't know what this means. I, I, don't, I don't know what this means. If, I ever, if this guy ever gets on the show, which Jaha said might be a possibility, and, you know, if it works out schedule-wise... Uh, uh, I had a chance to talk to Cigar Bob and DSP, mostly about molesting underage girls. I swear, if anyone at GVR is missing a daughter, but let's not go there. All right, let's not go there. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm going to move forward positively because I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, does it mean that Cigar Bob and DSP are creepy and seem like that? It could. <laughs> it could, but, you know... I also don't know that could be an uh, that could be an inside joke. It's so many things it could be. 
Let's move on forward positively. But I just, I read the news as I see it, my friends. I read the scrolls as they are written. These scrolls are not edited. <laughs> you can't edit scrolls. So, Cigar Bob, okay. Yeah, so Cigar Bob and DSP might have been seeming to be, uh, you know, creeping on younger girls. And he has joked about creeping on younger girls before, which does lead to this having some more credence that it might have just randomly being there. <laughs> DSP has said before in a tournament many before this, once we get tired of creeping 14 year old girls, we can do our tournament. All right. So uh, again, I, I, sh I share so you can make your own decisions. Uh, anyways, what's important to me is that DSP and I agreed to have our $100 money match the next day or Sunday. And he was supposed to find me. He was supposed to find me. Sigh. All right. So that money match. Did not happen. DSP was supposed to find him, but he did not. But he did not find him. All right. So for those keeping track, the money match was uh, uh, Afro Legends countless times asked DSP to do the money great, match. Guys, our goal is 100 <laughs> likes on the stream at 90. Come on, we get 10 more likes, please. Please. So remember, Afro Legends, you know, Said Friday and Saturday, let's do our match. Let's do our match. Never happened. Phil was annoyed at that, according to Afro Legends. And uh, and then this match, he was supposed to find Viscont. That never happened either. All right. Um, so that this is I think there's one more mention. Yeah, yes. Okay. So here we go to the next mention of DSP in this this thread. Uh ST Finals uh had a really entered high entertainment quotient. Okay. Even if the games weren't that good, but it had DSP and it had the Halo booing. First of all, Halo. Inkblot announced that the Halo tournament was coming to its end and that the top two teams were playing for 2,500. We should give them all a round of applause. I started qu clapping politely, but was quickly drowned out by a chorus of boos and insults slung at them. Too funny. So that was apparently the fighting game community wasn't, wasn't too high on having Halo be at Evo. Uh, that didn't last. It's not lasting today, but there we go. Let's get some more lore, though, on what DSP acted like at this tournament where he did get fourth place, all right? So DSP, uh, DSP and Watson getting into a verbal battle over the microphone was quality as well. Wish, I could, wish we had that. I yeah, wish we had that. DSP with the raised middle fingers and yelling out East fucking Coast on stage. Too good. That might have been Phil's peak right there, guys. East fucking coast after winning at Evo 2015. I mean, that's sorry, that wasn't winning yet, but too good. Think what you want about Phil. Okay, so that means people think badly about him already. Think what you want about Phil. You only say that when people think negative stuff, by the way. So let's just get that straight. In August of 2005, we're saying this. Think what you want about Phil, Phil but he backed up everything he said. The top American finisher, including being entertaining. Good show, Phil. Good show. Even if he did disappear and not play more for money, which I would have won, I still have to give him props. He did everything he said he would at Evo. As for the rest of the tournament, blah. All right, so Viscont gave props to DSP for that. All right, he did what he said. He didn't even mention the bad port thing, but, you know, I got to share what I see. All right? Now, my friends, we are going to get in our DeLoreans and go forward one year to 2006, as I present to you yet another post. Team Flukesters versus Team We Got Robbed. All right. Thank you all very much for the engagement today. I appreciate it. We got a bubble blow first. Thanks, everybody. Hope you're having fun tonight. <laughs> Thanks for the engagement tonight. Was it a good or bad one? It wasn't a very good one. It kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with your pool, Lasagna Cat. <laughs> so we have Team Flukesters versus Team We Got Robbed. Oh, memorial post for Logan. Not memorial post. <laughs> yeah, memorial post for that pull that got the, how many fucking stars is that? Three, six, nine, <laughs> nine star. <laughs> Anyways, NKI is here, something we've seen before. NKI is, by, by the way, still working in games. Uh, he he uh, is doing something in the gaming industry. can't remember exactly what, but anyways. Uh, I do want to show you that this post uh, was first, and this was edited out. So NKI himself edited this post out. It's massively long. Uh, but in short, but in short, 
Um, I want to read this the first two sentences, okay? So I would like to know, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, there's been plenty of drama since last year's Evo with lots of people calling flukes and whatnot, okay? So this is directly pointed at DSP, but not only DSP, also NKI. So NKI was a sixth place finisher, and some people felt that was too high for him. So he also was met with questions, right? So is he really that good at this game? You know what I mean? Is he really deserving of that sixth place even, okay? So that is the whole point of NKI making this thread. I want to get that clear, okay? I want to make that clear. That is why this is happening right now is because there's people calling flukes, and they called NKI a fluke, and they definitely called DSP a fluke. So first he had this one. It was just way too much. So he changed it, okay? So he said this. We decided on an event rather different than what I originally suggested, so here's the updated info. That's what we're going to read here. So Team Flukesters, our DSP, Buck Tizzle. I'm all about Buck Tizzle. That's Buck Tooth, by the way, if you didn't know. Buck Tizzle coming at you. NKI, Peter H., and Afro Legend. So all of these people are flukes because they finished highly, and some people think they, you know, they wouldn't normally finish that highly. Okay, and team we got robbed. Uh, whose team we got robbed? Well, that's the badasses. That's the people that have been finishing on top forever, right? Since the end of time, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, it's a typical tournament. Uh, twenty five dollars ahead, one hundred twenty five w- winner takes all. Each team member of Team Flukesters will play each member of Team We Got Robbed in three out of five set for a total of twenty five sets. It's basically hey. You guys think we suck? Well, let's do a tournament. Let's do a little tournament about that to see what happens. All right. And I, I, I think that's a fun idea. You know, NKI. <laughs> right. So how does this go? How does this go now? I cannot confirm this, but I believe this is, um, and I believe this is DSP. Uh, and I'm, and Cigar Bob says, I'm all for this. NKI, if you want to set this up, I would more than happy to let you use one of my cabinets for this. So if Cigar Bob is on, uh, and, uh, I think this is DSP response here. This is actually, you know, I was impressed. Last year, your Ken Nick kicked some serious ass in the tournament, and you were only one too close match away from getting top eight yourself. I would say you deserve to be there, and not just because you make and donate awesome cabs. I'm all for this idea. Set it up, and I'm there. Even if, it, if I don't win at all, it will be a lot of fun, and at least I'll get to play all the top street super turbo comp. I don't know if that's DSP. Actually, now when I read it out, it doesn't sound like it, but, you know, take that what you will. Oh, no. See, this is why I think so, because Cigar Bob says, thanks, DSP. So, yeah, never mind. It is. It is him. Uh, one more thing. I would like to see, get to see the re-roll for Top C only for USA. This is kind of ending a grudge between a ton of us, and we need to keep it between us. Okay? So, there we go. That is definitely... That was definitely DSP, but it was oddly positive. I will say that. Okay? Let's move forward positively here. This is... Uh... All right. So now we have Big War uh, here, and it says, uh, so someone's saying, like, I appreciate my input, blah, 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 Just talk about shit. Not like the, the group of guys that are going to be in this have played each other thousands of times outside of Phil. They would bring their heat and try their best. So I, I'm putting this out because I don't know what that means exactly. Like, Phil hasn't played these guys as much as everyone else has. Maybe he hasn't been the tournament connoisseur as the, much of the other guys. It's an odd comment for me. Uh, but, you know. Take with that what you will. There's FM Jaguar in the house. What's up, FM Jaguar? Nice to see you, brother. Nice to see ya. Got his own emo. We got to call it out when we see FM Jaguar. That guy can lay the heat. And he might today. I can't remember, actually. <laughs> I don't think he does, though. But maybe. I don't want to edge you too much, but FM Jaguar is a legend. That has ripped PSP to shreds many times. <laughs> Yeah, that's that. That's probably what you mean. Yeah, thanks, Black Doom. That's right. If he's probably talking about the West Coasters who have played each other a lot, they haven't played Phil that much because you know he's not he's East Coaster. So, so now we have confirmed DSP post in the house. As I loaded, this post is way bigger. So as you know, it's DSP because it's a book. I won't break out my music yet, but we're getting there. It's close. In my opinion, I'd be against the whole one character thing. The whole idea here was to see who was the absolute best Street Fighter Super Turbo player in the U.S. Not to see who was the best with a certain character in the U.S. Limiting people to picking one character seriously isolates players. Giving some a huge handicap and others a huge advantage. For example, Jason Cole plays only Dalsim in tournament plays, so obviously he's at a major advantage here. 
and it's probably why he agreed with this idea. Oh, have to protect the, the fair, the, 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 the even playing field, huh? The ESP, so worried. <laughs> the round wob, the round robin, <laughs> round robin, the wow robin will just be a slew of, well, we knew who would win that match. So-and-so is dominant in that matchup, and maybe a handful of upsets thrown in here, here or there. That's not a best-in-the-U.S. event at all. This will be a boring day of seeing standard counter matches that nobody can do anybody about. I like this. I like this. <laughs> this will be... <laughs> that will be a boring day of seeing standard counter matches that nobody can do anybody about. Nobody can do anybody, all right? Come on. Why can't anybody do anybody? That's my question. You can't do anybody. Might look good on tape since people will learn the ins and outs of the match of ST, but it will make for it will makes for one shitty tournament. Jim was hitting hard today. All right. The gin was hitting hard. Let's just call a spade a spade. But it makes but but it that's okay. But it makes for one shitty tournament. That was my fault. That was correct, Graham. I picked three characters in serious tournament with play. Not one. I don't have a determined best fighter. I didn't think that all three guys I pick are good in certain situations. I'm not a one trick pony. I'm the type of player who adapts to the situation. Some people, like Cole, pick only one character who really has no counter and masters that character. Then there are others who adapt to situations and select different characters. I'm not entering a round robin ST tournament that only allows me to select one character because I'm not out to prove I'm the best Vega or the best DJ or whatever in the US because that's not what I care about. I want to prove I'm the best overall competitive street super turbo player in the country, not the best with one character. So if that's what you're doing at Evo, Count me out. All right. So that's fair enough. I mean, that's a fair enough point from DSP. He could have said that in one paragraph. He said it in 18,000. But okay, he wants to make sure it's not about who can be the best at one certain character. Fair enough. Okay. So I love this response. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> okay. DSP is out. How many we got left? <laughs> so fast. Okay, DSP is out. <laughs> so who we got next? <laughs> Didn't even ask. Didn't even say a single word about what he said. Okay, DSP is out. What we got next? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on possibly. <laughs> FM Jaguar here is uh, voting on who should be in the tournament here, we're going to skip through that. Nothing good here. Um, Cigar Bob says it should stay at Invitational. FM Jaguar thought it might be like uh, you got to play to get in. People are kind of making this, um, you know, big deal. You know, people are deciding how they should do this exactly. All right. So next up, we have Tanton says uh, he quoted DSP and just changed it to say random shit. <laughs> so he changed all that DSP said just to say random shit. No, no. You back out of matches and we fall back. You back out of fights and we fall back. Not again. The line must be drawn here. This far, no further. <laughs> I love this, Tanton. Tanton, you're a legend, dude. <laughs> you back out of fights. I'm pinning this. <laughs> you back out of money matches and we fall back. Back out of fights and we fall back. Not again. Line must be drawn. Yeah. This far, no further. <laughs> so they know how much he backs out of shit. It's it's not even like a meme. It's like everyone knows it's happened. You know. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, people talking about nothing. People talk about nothing. Let's get to the next post here. <laughs> Okay. Now, DSP responds to Adol Seam. Says, hey, I only lost to Japan and barely at that. Anyways, I would much rather have 5-on-5 five five versus Japan if some decent players from Japan are coming. So he wants to be like D J Japan versus US, uh, Adol Seam is saying. DSP responds saying, I actually really agree with Cole here. There's all the drama about who's really the best in the US, but honestly, we should be worrying about who Japan is sending this year to kick our asses. So DSP only 
uh, doesn't care about who's best in the U.S. He's worried about who is the who J- Japan is sending this year to kick our asses. And you know why I think that is? It's because he has proven to be the best in the U.S. Hint, hint. You know, I'm doing very hard quotation marks here. So he doesn't want to lose that throne, right? If it's on, if that's on the line, he might lose that throne. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> who the hell was Gian? Gian was the person that got first place, by the way. That's why he's saying that. Who the hell was Gian? Gian got first. And don't you dare forget it. What we sh- uh, Anyways, here we go. He shows up out of nowhere and creams us. And instead of being concerned about being owned by Japan for the upteenth time, we're on here nitpicking about the PS1 version of ST and who's a fluke winner. <laughs> so again, DSP is trying to deflect from don't talk about fluke winners or the PS1 version. Don't think about that, guys. You don't want to talk about that. That's a waste of time. We got to worry about who got first place. Come on. Don't worry about that little nasty detail about the PS1 version and who's a fluke winner and who's not. Let's worry about Japan versus the U.S., guys. Sound good? What we should really be doing is setting up a way to practice against each other and get as much into our game as possible to beat Japan. That's what it's really all about. I feel I would get a lot more. I feel I would get a lot more useful practice playing in a round robin that lets me switch characters and play the matches I would have played in a singles tournament, uh, rather than put me into the corner in unbalanced matches. If we were forced to pick one character only, I would have to decide on Vega or DJ, which means I either lose for free to Dalsim or Balrog Honda. Take your pick, or I go random mode and pick Blanca and end up losing most of my matches. I just want to get some fucking practice in, man. Let's start setting some shit in setting some shit in stone. <laughs> Let's start setting some shit in stone. So Phil, don't worry about that nasty little thing about, you know, who's the best on in America, who that little pesky rumor about PS1 version that's not being as good. Who cares? Who cares about that guy? You got to be practicing. Okay? Sound good? NKI, the person that started this thread himself, says, uh, Gian is Japan's best Dalsim player. Confused. He used to go by the name Ken O. And I'm sorry if I gave people the impression that you'd have to stick to one character because it's definitely not what I had planned. I was saying people over-exaggerate how bad counter characters are. So NKI comes to say, I wasn't even talking about that. So you just made all that up. You wrote all those paragraphs and no one even said you had to pick one character. Sound good? No one even said you have to pick one character. (laughs) And Phil wrote that many paragraphs as a way to try to get out of it, right? Finds one little out. Oh, wait, wait, hang on a second. You're going to pick one character? I'm not doing it yet. Okay. Cool? (laughs) Uh, Okay, so so he does talk about here... uh, there we go. So DSP says, what we really should be doing is setting up a way to practice against each other and get as much into our game as possible in Japan. That's what it's really all about. And then uh, NKI responds with, don't you think that a really good way to do that would be to get all the Americans' best players together and have them play against each other? Great fucking question, NKI. Great fucking question. <laughs> just, just proving how stupid that statement was in one sentence. Instead of 14 paragraphs. (laughs) All right. All right. Now, here we go. Here we enter the depths. Loading the scrolls now. NKI says. uh, NKI says a lot. Um, Where is the... um, Okay. Uh, So just want to point this out here about who's going to make it. Who's going to be here. A lot of people were talking about that. Uh, this was NKI's statement. I definitely want to see DSP in there because being that he is the heart of all the drama. So again, we don't exactly know what drama it is, but we can we can guess, right? It's about the fluke wins, right? And the, being the top of the United States that, he, that Phil has endlessly said. I'm guessing. Of course, I don't know, but I'm guessing. And that's what he says about there. So B- DSP is the heart of all the drama. He said that. Right? Let's keep going on. We're moving, moving towards 
our remember don't forget that money match right that money match again keep that in the back of your mind I, it's not an accident we started with that uh so if dsp makes the list then bucktooth and afro legend should be on that list too okay so if dsp makes the list then bucktooth and afro legends should be in that list now Okay, now this is, sure here, yes, here we go. So this is DSP. He says, Afro Legends instead, someone, someone suggests that maybe Afro Legends instead of DSP, okay? Someone suggests that earlier. DSP responds, Afro Legends instead of me? That guy couldn't even play me in our grudge match because his Pelican stick didn't work on any PS2 in the entire hall and he refused to play on Cav. He's talking about that money match, right? He's talking about that money match that never happened. And I'd be happy to destroy Justin Wong in an ST playoff if you think that will make me more legit for the round robin. Oh, DSP, hot off his fourth place finish that happened just six months earlier, saying, I would destroy Justin Wong. I would destroy him. <laughs> I would destroy that man. Anyways. Feel free to leave me out if you want. I'll just play in singles. But I thought the whole gist of this was to prove that NKI and I were fluke placings last year. So again, the fluke placings. Everyone thinks it. Everyone knows it. DSP is talking about it again here. Right? So the grudge match. And NKI says, DSP, you are correct. This is basically to see if last year's results were a fluke or not, so you definitely have a spot reserved. So that's the, we, we get the gist of what NKI is trying to do here, right? Um, he's trying to, you know, he's trying to, let's, everyone, you called me in DSP flukes, let's play a tournament and see what happens. Now watch this, watch this, well, listen to this. Dream TR says, this should be renamed to NKI's private tournament, to be honest. No offense, NKI. You can do whatever you want at your tournament, but some of those people do not deserve spots. And Shirts has a point. Arcade placings in tournaments are way bigger than console. All right? So keep that in mind, all right? DSP, Justin won ECC and the MWC last year. He's done a lot more than you have in arcade tournaments for Super Turbo. This is just fact. I'm 100% certain Justin would gladly play you for money in Super Turbo. <laughs> Ludwig Vod, you could do commands and you can get a shit ton. All that stuff, my friend. Click the link that comes up. All right. So then, so just obviously this person, Dream TR, is saying, all right, let's, let's get real. Justin is not scared and uh, he would love to. You think you're so confident to play Justin Wong. DSP again gets a talk here. If you can get top four at MWC with switch sticks like we all have, or top four at ECC with decent players, then I can see your point. But until then, you're still the PS1 champ. <laughs> Those words burn. Oh my you God, does this ever end? Are you kidding me? You know that that's a shot right to the heart. Arrow aimed at the heart. Until then, you're still the PS1 champ. Oh. Oh. NKI defending his placements, uh, uh, defending his, 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 his choices here. Say, the reason why DSP, Buck, and myself get spots is precisely because we did well in a console tourney. I'm not saying that that proves we're better than the old schoolers, right? So, not an old schooler DSP, we can say. All right. Next up. Uh, this is, okay, here we go. Here we go. Right, let me get it ready here real quick. Here we go, boys. Enjoy. All right, so if anything, if any of the three of us end up placing well at this thing and then one of us wins it, oh, watch this. This is such bitch behavior. This is such bitch behavior. If, any, if anything, if any of the three of us end up placing well in this thing and if one of us wins it, all the OG, OG original gamer players should just retire. 
and I'd better never hear shit talk about us again. I know that myself and Buck have gotten zero real practice at ST since basically Evo. I don't even think Buck has played since last Evo. Shit. <laughs> I like this sentence ending shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Who talks like this? <laughs> oh, anime running film. Big ups, Toss Salad. You got the anime one. That's rare. <laughs> uh, provided by Nerd Brew, by the way. Uh, I don't even think Buck has played since last Evo. Shit. <laughs> I'm going to do that myself. Shit. <laughs> Just add shit to the end of sentences for no reason. Online. <laughs> shit. Like, in real life, I get it. Like, you know, you might say that. But, like, in a fucking forum, comma, shit. Come on. All right, anyways. But on the other hand, I was at TXX and saw Choi, Valle, Cole playing hardcore in casuals. And I'm sure they're playing more at home. And anyone who is going to argue that I got owned in ST at TS6 is an idiot. Because I went into the thing saying I wasn't even focusing on it and didn't plan on even really playing hard at all. You remember when I got my ass kicked, okay? I told you I didn't even care, okay? So, shut the fuck up. I didn't, I told you guys I didn't even care. I wasn't even going to try hard, okay? So shut it, okay guys? Get out of here. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. That is exactly what that is, my friends. Oh my god, I didn't even care, okay? Guys are just assholes. <laughs> what happened? I did really well in Marvel's Capcom 2, which I was focused on at the time, since it was the first tournament pool I actually had to play in, and spent about two and a half hours on it to fight my way out of it. I didn't even touch ST since I wasn't going to put into the machine until I was already playing Marvel's Capcom 2, and then I played something like four ST matches back to back. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even remember who I lost to in ST besides the Guile player. I was so out of it by then. Having, after having about three hours sleep the night before, sleeping on a floor, and then playing five plus hours of tournaments back to back. I honestly can't even fucking remember the ST tournament. Come on, man. Vega versus Guile and I lose. Do you honestly think I'd lose that match? It's called Low Roundhouse all day. I don't even remember what I was doing. By the way, we now have over 110 likes on the stream. So now he's saying he lost, but he was out of it. So he both didn't care about it. He didn't care about it. He wasn't focusing on it. He didn't play hard at all. And then it was, th this, is a, this is a lot of excuses to put in one paragraph. I mean, this is some next level excuse sardini. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about this, okay? So we, we, <laughs> I'll try to make a list real quick before we move on. I wasn't focusing on it. I, wasn't pl I didn't plan on playing hard at all. Uh, I didn't play a lot of it. Another one. I had three hours sleep the night before. I was sleeping on a floor. I played five hours of tournaments back to back. And I can't, I, and I can't even remember the match. I guess that counts. So we're up to like six or seven, give or take. Okay. Okay. Sound good? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ludwig Vaughn. I think you got the new balance. That's a hype pool right there. All right. The bottom line is that TS6 was pretty disappointing this year. Because things weren't run as well as last. Okay, bitching about tournament organizers. Sound good. Always classic. We see that about once a week on the Density Scrolls. I don't, I don't call having me play in every single game back to back in the scan of five hours fair. And then making ST last is just ridiculous. Why, why ST wasn't run before A3 is totally beyond me. When I brought up the issue with tournament staff, next year enter less games. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> How come there's so many games? Next year, enter less games, bitch. Get the fuck out. Give a fuck. <laughs> not sure how valid of an argument that is, telling people who go to your tournament not to enter games, but I'm not going to crap all over my Texas friends because I know they work their butts off, had a lot of problems, and I love them to death. Okay, but you just, you just did shit on them, but okay. Let me shit on you, and then I'll say, I know they work their butts off. <laughs> I love them to death. <laughs> they fucking su The tournament fucking sucked ass. And I don't know if they gave me uh, good excuses for my things I complained about. But I love them to death. Let me tell you, I love them to death.
I would die for them. <laughs> but honestly, the chart of it's fucking sick. But I would die for them. Now, if you want to test me in Super Turbo, if I go to MWC this year, that is all I will be focusing on. I'm not even going to pretend that I'm going to do anything in any game at ECC this year because honestly, since I'll be running so much shit, I doubt I'll be able to throw a fireball by the time I get to play my matches. And definitely, Evo, once I get a few days practice and in on Bob's cab like I did last year, I will be in good tournament condition again. Remember, it's, really e it's real easy to sit at home and be an armchair quarterback. I know. But don't go around. I know. So that's like saying, like, I do it too. I do it all the time. But don't go around validating things like they mean anything. I haven't actually played ST on any competitive level since maybe the final match of NEC, me versus J J Ron, or Jaron, where, where I went all Vega for the finals. Pertinent said asked, do you actually use the DSP pronunciation in real life without trying? The one thing I do do is say style way too much now. And Chu knows it, she gets annoyed. I could go to like a park style place. Like what, what are we going to do with the kids? We could do like park style, shopping style. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. It's really annoying. I do like to annoy her with style. Anyways, move forward positively. Everything after that has just been fluff. I've been trying to get into... Oh, so yeah, excuse me. I've been trying to get into competitive shape. <laughs> competitive shape, shape, playing shape, okay? Uh, in games like MRF Capture Strike and CVS 2. At least those games give you something to play when ST isn't getting any love at tournaments other than Evo. All right? So Phil writes a book, our first book of the night. Uh... Dream TR responds to DSP directly. Uh, no one really practices Super Turbo anymore. Last time I remember Cole playing was in a GZX tournament over here. Baye might still play randomly on his cabinet, but I think it's safe to say that everyone plays it sparingly, to say the least. Shirts lives across the street from me, so he comes over once in a while, and we play for 30 minutes and go out about our normal business. So it's not like everyone is fucking, you know, practicing every fucking day like you believe, Phil. Okay? Uh, Dogface, real quick, as a quick mention. In the DSP, I know you want to focus on ST and Evo this year, but don't forget that little game you used to love called XVSF. It'll be going down again and no more Jug Saber for you. Top tier only. Afro Legends, his real account is here. But I definitely don't deserve a spot for this tourney. I haven't done shit in this game, but I'll gladly participate in the round robin to see if I can snatch one of the remaining spots. It's all good. Afro Legends, the official Afro Legends, has entered the Dent Sea Scrolls legend here. He has a DJ icon. And for, rec for, for the record, let the record show, his Twitter handle today, which he still uses, has this very same image. So, there we go. Big ups, Afro Legends. The legend continues. We're definitely not done hearing from Afro today. Um, next up. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba. What, what is... <laughs> I love this name from FM Jaguar, the legend. The legend himself. I got to get those going. Hang on. Hang on. I got to get it going. FM Jaguar has a comment. We always do that. Uh, team Console Warriors. <laughs> team Console Warriors. Bucktooth, DSP, NKI, Afro Legends, the Honda guy. And Team OG, Choi. Listen to these names. Listen, let me, listen to me rattle off these names. Choi, Vae, Cole, Watson, Wilson. Legends. That shall never be forgotten. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's just uh, that's, uh, FM Jaguar's idea. Okay. Let's move forward positively. DSP enters back and says, Listen, I'm so ridic ridiculously confused about the 10 Super Turbo tournaments that are going to be at Evo, okay? I'm not sure what anybody is even talking about anymore. Just please give me a chance to enter each one, be it round robin, teams, singles, whatever, and I promise you I'll do my best. I'm going to Evo pretty ex much exclusively for ST. And, I'm, it was, and with my placing last year, with my placing last year, I was fourth place, I'd like to at least participate in all the events. Even if there's only a chance, I might get owned up. That is all. All right, so DSP says, let me know what I got to do. Um, Cigar Bob. Cigar Bob is uh, about to, to, to make me laugh. I can promise you that. <laughs> uh, Phil is confused? Nah, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> God damn it. 
God damn it, Cigar Bob. Don't do him like that. Don't do him like that. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, Cigar Bob is, though, could be that he was in that group, that uh, hide, hide Your Daughters group. Keep that in mind. But anyways, uh, Phil, I'm still thinking about letting you in my tourneys. I know you are the national champ and all. National champ. Sarcasm. <laughs> I know you are the national champ and all, but I think you may be a bit too good and would just mop up, mop everyone up. And that just wouldn't be fun. Get fucked. <laughs> I know you are the national champ. <laughs> national champ and all. <laughs> Get fucked. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> I love that. I know you are the national champ and all. Um, okay, uh, this one is one of seven. Yeah. Uh, so chaotic ass thread, Adol seems correctly says. <laughs> um, so this one says, why don't why don't these freaking new school bastards attend other tourneys so we can see how consistent they are? OGs are always enter are always seen entering ST tournaments all over here and there, but yet you never hear of any of the new school entering shit besides DSP. But the results are always the same. He <laughs> he. D, I love this. I love this. DSP travels to everything, but also has an excuse for everything. <laughs> hey, Dalsim, come on. Don't do it to him. He's cooked enough, this thread. <laughs> DSP travels to anything, but he also has an excuse for everything. <laughs> Big ups, Phallic Idol. I love Phallic Idols. Billy Idol, too. Billy Idol and Phallic Idol, so I love them both. <laughs> so, DSP travels to everything, but he has an excuse for everything. And you know why he travels to everything, my friends? You know why? Because there's the magical power of credit cards. Okay? Credit cards can let you go wherever you want. You know? Did you know that? I didn't know that. But if you cash advance, let me tell you something about something. We have something called credit cards. And what does that do? You can use them to get money. Do you have to pay that back? I don't know. It's kind of a racket, you know? Do you have to pay it back? Do you don't? I don't even know. But what you can do is do cash advances. And the interest rate on this is, is not, you know, it's, it's whatever. Don't worry about it. Just get the money and travel everywhere. And that's, that's pretty much how it works. And you can go to all the tournaments you want. So, big ups. They'll figure that out. Awesome. Pretty awesome. <clears throat> Uh, so, so <laughs> then we move forward positively and FM Jaguar says, uh, the fifth dinosaur, dinosaur being the OGs, uh, the fifth dinosaur has to be Wilson. He lost to DSP last year. Also, I thought Afro Legend was pretty solid as the other Flukester. Okay. So there's Flukester mentioned and, uh, DSP did beat Wilson for his fourth place title. Obvious. Um, Dream TR says, I went to EV, I went, I was at EVL last, Evo last year, and I lost to DSP and Japanese Blanca and did get top 30, 32, excuse me. But DSP not only beat me, but Choi and Watson as well. I think a lot of us want arcade revenge. I think a lot of us want arcade revenge. Watson lost to Afro Legends as well. Okay, so people are looking for arcade revenge from DSP. As they know they shouldn't have lost. That is why Mike Watson was did not like DSP very much. That's why that's why Mike Watson was uh you know had those feelings when he said he's a piece of shit. By the way, that's it. All right, so Kali Power Kali Power is about to respond to the book we just read, and he says the following: Win a tourney with with me, Choi Watts, Cole shirts in it, and you will get respect. And I don't mean play second or third. I mean win. Oh, and another thing. Don't you recall making noise pre-TS6 about us OG players should retire if you beat any of us? All I hear is you bitching when you lose. Typical. I know you're hungry, but bro, get a hold of yourself. I know my place in Super Turbo. I've won a few tourneys with big names in it. Win some, lose some. Take your loss like a man and try again next time. One last thing. You got smoked by my boy. Bro, bro, uh, oh, this is Valle, by the way. 
Kylie Power. Oh, thanks so much, Elvis. Whoever said that. But this is Valle. You're all a legend. Oh, even Scabati, you're a legend. Cinnabon, you're a legend. So many people saying this. Thanks, guys. So it makes it even more powerful. Right? It makes it even more powerful with a legend like that here. Uh, one last thing. You got smoked by my boy Brian Tyson's guile. He simply outplayed you. Walking into five flash kicks in a row, maybe less, just doesn't cut it as a top player, LOL. <laughs> Walking into five flash kicks in a row, maybe less, just doesn't cut it as a, as a top player. So this is, thanks to you guys sharing with me, Valle in the house, spanking. Just dropping the spank. <laughs> All I hear is you bitching when you lose. Typical. I know you're hungry, but bro, get a hold of yourself. Get fucked. And I love this. <clears throat> um, This one right here, I just own you. Okay, so... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this person is responding to that. So, so like, there's no something weird here that sometimes happens. That sometimes posts get deleted, and it's kind of hard to see where they're coming from. So you see Kali Power here, and I'm going to, uh, you know, scroll down positively here. He did not say the word "I just beat you." Uh, blah, 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 blah. So the word we're looking for, "I just own you, DSP." It was so easy, it didn't even feel good. Like, that must have been from another post, I guess. But anyway, so so Cigar Bob here is quoting that, which was not in the post we just read, you see. But he says, what Kali just said. Get fucked. <laughs> so there you go. Um, there we go. Let's go to more stuff of note. Uh. Look at, I love this. I love this. I love this. So DSP is right here. Okay. So I'm going to try to, you might have about spoiled, but uh, DSP is this person right here. Blah. Let's get some rules, peeps. So what does Cigar Bob do? What does Cigar Bob do? DSP, the queen of hate and lover of sex with midgets. He changed the name to that. <laughs> He changed DSP's name to, I'll read it one more time, just in case you're doing an audio-only style listening. DSP, the queen of hate and lover of sex with midgets. <laughs> this is too good, man. <laughs> God damn it. What? No hate? I'm disappointed in you. You have lost your king of hate status. You've lost your king of hate status. <laughs> Let's get cat behind the chat if you don't mind. What we got? What we got? Oh, okay. Classic Twitter picture. That's fine. Let's move forward positively here <laughs> with the DSP, the queen of hate and lover of sex with midgets. Very cool. <laughs> Very positive. <laughs> Very curated. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the good sock name right there. But that's the one that you get you get banned on site, sadly. <laughs> okay, um, this is DSP. Um, this person Graham says it's funny. It's it's funny. Never in my life I've attended a tournament have I been questioned to my ability before. Uh, you know, but I've never brought shitty gameplay when I said something coming to turn my life, and I never will. Uh, so hold on a second. Okay, so so Graham is kind of beefing with FM Jaguar here. Okay. It's just a separate beef that's not worth shedding here. Uh, so DSP responds, and he says, I like this guy. He talks big. It seems like he backs it up. Shame we haven't met yet. I'd like to see how I do against you at Evo. So DSP likes the cut of this guy's jib. This guy's a shit talker, and he backs it up. DSP is into that. As you might expect, this guy's cool. He, he's like me, dude. He trash talks. He treats this shit like it's WWE. He likes that. Uh, Shirts says, trust me, wolves would own you. <laughs> so let's put that to bed right the fuck now. 
<laughs> Let's get that out of your mind right the fuck now. How about that? <laughs> Shirts seems like a, he, Shirts seems cool. That's what I'm saying. Shirts seems like a cool guy. <laughs> Next, um, I am not sure if. Oh yeah, so this is not DSP. I'm not sure who this is actually, but it says, uh, "How could you, uh, NKI whoever whoever said your placing was a fluke? Right? No one said your thing was a fluke." Uh, you've played a long time and played in Japan, as you say. How could your placing be a fluke? DSP, on the other hand, did well at Evo last year, but I don't see any consistency. I don't see any consistency. DSP, on the other hand, did well at Evo last year. That would be fourth place, but I don't see any consistency. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. No consistency, DSP. No consistency side, Phil. Right? Remember, he's a pro fighting game player, and don't you forget it. If you get fourth place at Evo one time, are you a pro gamer? Are you a pro fighting game player? I know that's one of those professions that you can just say you are, like porn star. Like you're, you know, record a video and you can say you're a porn, porn star. You write a song, you can say you're a musician. Is pro, is pro fighting game player one of those? Seems like it. <laughs> Seems like it. <laughs> uh, and this is, I don't know who this is, but I love them. To add fuel to the fire, I think DSP has already proven himself to be a fluke. Excuses for third uh, TS, and, I think, and, and that's the tournament name. And the recent breakdown tournament, what the hell? Ties for 7th at Texas and ties for 8th at the break? This guy goes from champ to chump in under a minute. The guy is just a mouth. He talked his way into this thing, but since his play at Evo, since but his play since Evo has already answered the question of what he can do. No consistency at all. And he and all he has is his Evo PS placing. Ooh, this guy is on fire. Super hot fire right here. Unreal. Oh, this is this is one. This is in the fucking Hall of Fame right now. This post right here. All right. You ready? We're going to keep we're not even done the first paragraph. Then he has the nerve to disrespect consistent players in his SIG. We can't see the signature, but I'm guessing the signature was top place in the USA. Or he did say he did that. And I believe that was the signature, uh, top player in the US. He should, he should earn his spot like anyone else, and he has it. Can he, get at le can he get at least get top three in an arcade tournament? That Texas excuse was nonsense. A half a year after Evo and he can't retain his abilities? Fuck that. The OGs place consistently whether they were playing currently or not. DSP gets lucky once and he's in this? NKI shows consistency as Cole pointed out. DSP respects others and calls himself champ. And one PlayStation placing has him in this shit? NKI and Buck are clear. Afro Legends has one tournament under his belt placing high and still has respect. He needs to talk some more shit, but he has respect. I think he meant to say talk less shit, maybe? But holy fuck. God. Screenshot that. So I ask you, I, and I ask you, rational people, why is a disrespectful chump in this at all? It should be required that he place high among others, and he's even whooped one on, on the East Coast. If this, is going on, if this is going to be on arcade, DSP should show some consistency, or at least some respect, before being included. I say place top three on an arcade format, or he should change his sig to reflect the truth. He did well on console. Keep it real. This is ST Arcade seriousness. What has he done but make a completely false claim and lose since Evo? Kick this guy off and add Brian Tyson or something. 
especially if you want a shot of beating the old schoolers. <laughs> God, this is so beautiful, man. So beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> this, uh, okay, this is the new one. This is the new, this guy goes from champ to chump in a minute. The guy is just a mouth. That's the new pin. That that is uh, should have be fucking framed right there. <laughs> oh God! All right. So by the way, we're getting we're getting into the seeds and stuff. Uh, I do want to mention this: DSP, Neil Atkin, Flash G, etc., have all had shaky results, but technically deserve a spot if this was a real situation of turning seeds. There are so many people that are good enough to play, but a lot of people stay in hiding and have not played in ages. So they have had shaky results, according to uh, Dream TR. So shaky results. Um, this person here. Uh, uh, this this okay, guys, guys, guys. Uh, if anyone, this is your first. Well, uh, stop into the scrolls. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, people that have seen a few of these weeks, we've seen a pattern. Uh, we've seen a lot of patterns, but one of the patterns we see the most, oh, this the is that um, people, when people destroy Phil in a way that's so just spouting truth, right? And in like usually respect, not respectful ways, but just truthful saying of the truth. And of course they're saying it in a trash talky style way. Okay, no doubt. But he's just shouting truth. He's not he's not insinuating anything or predicting anything. He's saying, listen, this is the truth, and this is my thoughts, and it's right to the fucking heart. And other people agree. What does Phil do? And I see, I see you legends in chat that know what's gonna happen here. Phil runs the fuck away. And what do we have here? What great response do we have to change the people's opinion about you? What do we get? What do we get? Eat my ass, have a nice day. Whoop you at Evo Chump. All right? So that's the response we got. When someone destroys you so beautifully, your response is, eat my ass, have a nice day, whoop you at Evo Chump. Whoop you at Evo, I think. Unless W-H-U-P means something else, chat, because that's what I'm taking it, but... um, That is DSP's legendary response. And the grape one. The grape one shall be remembered after tonight. I promise you that. We need a grape emote, maybe. Because that was one of the most beautiful things ever. And Phil's response, eat my ass, okay? Eat it. Eat my ass. But that's not good, okay? I don't give a shit. Okay? Whatever. Um, so this, I believe, is DSP. I believe, but I can't prove it, okay? Um, so he responds to the other person and says, Wow, thanks for taking the time, Dream TR. Again, he got his ass beat, so he's, now he is running away by being a, a, what I say running away in this case, it's being very agreeable, right? Being a, not being a douchebag, kind of like, Hey guys, I'm just, let's just be cool, all right? Nothing to see here. It's totally cool, okay? So I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is DSP, but I can't prove it. Wow, thanks for taking the time. This is certainly a who's who's list of ST players. Uh, I've seen this guy beast. I haven't heard of him since it looked like he would ha hit that next level. Bummer. The man had skills. What happened to Pete Tal? Uh, I don't know if it's DSP anymore. Uh, I can't tell. I can't tell. Maybe we, we find proof later, but again, this was much appreciated. I want to start an old school competition blog that catalogs all matches. That's what he says there. Eh, doesn't sound like it. I agree. I don't think that's DSP. Here we go. This is a response to DSP's eat my ass. LOL, is Evo going to do PS... <laughs> LOL, is Evo going to do PSX ST again? Nice reply. I can't wait for Evo. I'm going to laugh in your face after beating you, and then I'll take your money after you try and bet me, and then I'm going to knock you silly when you suggest taking it to the playground. Your talk is entertaining. I just want you to do something to warrant the attention you get. You're second rate even on the East Coast. Grape One is his name. 
Never forget grape one. Your talk is entertaining. I just want you to do something to warrant the attention you get. (laughs) FM Jaguar fans rejoicing. He's back and he's responding to our boy. Oh, wait. I'll be honest, I'm rather shaking on Peter on the team. Does that prove it? I'm rather shaking heavy Peter on the team. Hold on, let's check some some live chat here. Uh, This is Darkside Phil saying old school versus new school. I'm going to live search this because that's important. Excuse me, fam. Got to go back one. Okay, excuse me, I missed this. Okay, missed this. Not in the notes, but this is DSP. Uh, This is... Okay, yeah, so this is before he said, eat my ass. He wrote this, okay? This is DSP confirmed. As for this Team We Got Rob versus Team Flukesters thing, I'll be honest, I'm really shaky on having Peter on the team. No offense to him, but his Xbox Live Honda only got him that far because he had an easy bracket. And I was pretty much able to just play straight up countermatch DJ and beat him. I was actually sleeping on him, which is why he was able to win that first match. I was sleeping on him. Come on. Like, so that means you don't try your hardest when you think you might, you don't know who it is. Oh, it's someone I don't know. I just won't try my hardest then. Is that something fighting game players do? You don't try your hardest when you don't know who it is. Don't you want to crush everyone? Like, doesn't matter who it is. And if they suck, you just beat the shit at them faster. (laughs) You know? (laughs) Like, okay. I would feel really confident about having everyone else on the team because we are all pretty solid. Oh, now he's shout he's he's calling that we don't want Peter, okay? No Peter. If this were an open format kind of thing, I would consider adding someone like Jerron or Justin Wong because they are both new school and have been pretty consistent at recent showings. Can you imagine a world, a world that we all exist in that DSP is judging Justin Wong in fighting games? Imagine it. Imagine that world. Imagine a world where that happens. Because that world only exists in one place, and that is in DSP's mind. A world where he can judge Justin Wong. (laughs) What a world. (laughs) It only exists in Sir Wong, excuse me, DSP's mind. I feel like if Peter's on the team, we are pretty much giving up five losses and start... Listen to this. Jesus, Peter. See, Phil's getting his ass stretched too far. He has to find someone else to, to you know, make fun of. So it's not just him getting his ass stretched. Consider subscribing uh, to the channel if you're not a sub. <clears throat> um, so here we go. I feel like if Peter's on the team, we are pretty much giving up five losses and starting with the handicap because the kid only knows basics and pretty much couldn't even beat my DJ. And what? And pretty much couldn't even beat my DJ. That sounds like he beat your DJ. Am I wrong in saying that? <laughs> it sounds like he beat your DJ. Uh, who actually is beaten by Honda if you know your stuff. Okay. My only other issue is that both NKI and Buck play Chun. And if one more of the OGs just practices Chun versus Hardcore, they basically get two free wins each, which will screw us. So he... he this this gentleman DSP is shitting on, beat him. <laughs> uh, so anyone remember my idea last year, old school versus new school, with myself as the team captain of new school, and somebody OG like Watson Cole as team captain of old school. Yeah, I already had that idea, but it got laughed at. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I already had that idea, but it got laughed at. Now all of a sudden it's valid. Hate to say I told you so, but wait, no, I don't hate to say it because I told you so, old fogies. So let's get this straight. Let's recap. He has ideas. Everyone says that everyone shits. Everyone laughs at his ideas, no matter what they are. So when someone more respectful has an idea, they think about it. <laughs> That's the best. Phil has an idea. Go fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, asshole? <laughs> All right. Eat my ass right there. There we go. 
This has a potential to be a long night, by the way. Hang on to your butts. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. <laughs> Anyways, let's move forward. Um, okay, ga, 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 ba, ba, ba. okay, here we go. So this is FM Jaguar's response to that one we just read. Uh, the reason there is a second tourney is because NK and some other people were pretty interested in seeing a replay of last year. That is how this tournament was constructed. All right. If I ask, if I ask people about DSP, they would probably tell me that he is a free loss to them too, and to just put them on the Flukesters team instead to give them a chance. Oh, free loss. If I ask people about DSP, they would probably tell me that he is a free loss. Is there anything worse to be called in a fighting game than a free loss? FM Jaguar, being the legend that he is, sees that Phil is shitting on someone else that doesn't deserve to be shit on, but now he's going to shit on the person that was shitting on the original person. Keep up. You'll get that in the replay. <laughs> That's why it's not based on opinion and people trying to hijack spots on teams. I think it's the way it is now makes the most sense. It has the people that are actually involved and settles what people want to see settled. DSP's team versus Cole's team is entirely separate from what is being discussed here, and no one even knows what old school versus new school is about. So your dumb fuck idea doesn't make sense. <laughs> if you want to attempt to organize that, you can start another thread and attempt to figure it out. This one is pretty much settled. Il Shill comes in. Il Shill, if you remember, back to the first picture we started with tonight, was a seventh place finisher in the Evo that Phil got fourth in. That is why he is of note here. DSP, say what you want, but I don't think my bracket was easy by any means. I don't think the people I played last year would appreciate that either. I think, it handled, I, think I handled myself pretty well against great opponents. I just want to have a good time and see how I stack up against the old schoolers and to show that what happened wasn't a fluke. Ilshil, that sounds like a very logical thing to do, my friend. Even though you finish less than DSP and you don't take shit, man. That's cool. And you're sticking up for them as well. I don't think the people you play would appreciate that, bitch. So don't do that. Big ups, dude. Big ups to that. Next up. Grape One. That's the legend we learned earlier. Uh, nice. DSP, I want to see you beat... Okay, yeah. So, wow. Cooney, Justin Wong, Zaza, Serlin, and Seth are easy. Nice. DSP? I want to see you beat two of those five in a row for money matches. Shirts. When the fuck did DSP become good? <laughs> like, he's not talking about good as in skill. He's talking about why is the thought of him being good around? Why is that thinking? Why does that thinking exist? <laughs> That's what he's saying here. Hey guys, when did this become a thing that people are thinking? Even though I can't find many people thinking it, but you know. <laughs> All right, Cigar Bob says, yeah, no shit. Bet you, but you probably say the same thing about me. You tell him ill shill, fucking DSP talking out of his ass. Oh, you tell him ill shill, fucking DSP talking out of his ass again. Hey, ill shill, want to play your spot on the fluke team? <laughs> Uh, shirt says, I think you're good, but I'll still beat you 16 out of 10. So the shirts is saying, hey, no, 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 don't get it twisted. You're better than DSP, my friend. You're better than DSP. Don't go that low. Don't go that low. <laughs> Next up. Oh, man. Magical, friend. Here we go. All right. DSP's got to respond. You know what I'm saying? DSP's got to respond. <clears throat> uh, Viscont, by the way, just for, for historical purpose, I want to point out that Viscont uh, says he should be in the old school team, by the way. He says, I should, I, I should be an old schooler. Seems good to me, but anyways. Uh, DSP says here, hey man, I beat Choi, Wilson, Watson, Flash G, and James Robity in that order, then went on to beat you and NKI, but apparently I suck too. We're flukesters. My opinion is based off Vizant. Yeah, Vizant. I always say Viscant, but Vizant. 
My opinion is based off of our match in the top eight. Like I said, I know you're an Xbox Live player. That's probably why you don't know the matchup. I really think that our new school team needs to plan for this event and discuss strategies, share insight, etc. Because I think we could all use the extra experience. When you're going up against a god team of ST players who have been around since the game came out, I th and they're pissed that we whooped them up last year when they slept on us, I think we really need to take that seriously. So now all of a sudden, all of a sudden, remember guys earlier? Why are we doing this? It should be us versus Japan. That's gone. Now we see other people are into this idea. Now we need to change our narrative, and we need to take this seriously, guys. Take this seriously. Let's not fuck around, guys. Let's take this seriously. Graham, you're right. On all PS versions of STAE, you can't do fucking backflips half the time. I was actually handicapped last year in the ST tournament because half the time I tried to backflip, I got wall jumps. At one point, I thought it was my stick until I talked to someone and was told it's actually just the shitty console versions of the game that fuck you over. Now admitting that the console versions fuck you over. All right, that's a new thing. Just another hurt. Oh, excuse me. He turns it into a positive, though. Now, my, my how the turntables. Just another hurdle I had to jump last year since I did play Vega for most of the tournament. Yet I'm a fluke with no skill. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a good idea, Jew Messiah. I'll have to search for that. I never, I never tried. But I would like to see what Japanese players might think of DSP. That'd be kind of hype. <laughs> What's up, Roger? Uh, if, if they do talk about him, that'd be hype. I'll look for that. All right, anyways, let's go. Grape one. This is the, the legend of today. The legend we learned of today. The grape one. What does DSP say about them? What does DSP say? The fact is, you didn't come to EVA last year, so you really have no grounds to say anything about me. Because you didn't come to EVO, you can't say anything about me. Okay, cool. You don't know me personally. Okay, cool. So you know personally all the people that you talk shit about in the brackets, uh, about Ilshil, you know them personally. Okay, okay, you have to know them personally to talk shit. This is new rule. Okay, sound good? You don't know me personally. I don't think you've ever met. And for you to be sitting here shitting on me is pretty lame, okay? Considering you really don't know if I have skill or if it's all hype, save the hate for Evo and say it to my face when we're playing and then pray to God you win the match or else you're going to look like a fool. I, personally, have nothing to lose because I'm already so hated in the community for saying it like it is, no matter what I do. Big Archimedes, you're a legend. So let's keep that, let's keep this fucking straight, guys. He already knows he's hated in the community. This is April of 2006. April of 2006. He knows he is hated on the community for saying it like it is. This is an extreme retcon of the internet turned on him with this that you don't play. And also the fact that the, the, SR, the, the, street, uh, the, the fighting game community only turned on him after he started his YouTube Currently, channel and, and everyone was jealous. I've gotten 125 likes on this stream. Both of those things are just disproved by DSP's own words right the fuck here. Okay? He is saying he's already hated on for now. What? Why? Because he says it like it is. So let's just cut that shit out about um I'm getting some screen shit shotting this. That it's because everyone's everyone's jealous of his YouTube. He doesn't have a YouTube yet. He does not have a YouTube account yet. So no one's jealous of his YouTubing here. Let's move forward together positively. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, NKI responds. Uh, and, uh, by the way, I want to make sure this is known. The gr NKI responds to the grape one. Like I said, my very first post, I've never seen anybody directly say it, but I think it's very obvious that nobody takes console tourney results seriously, and a console tourney is the only one I've ever done decently in. So this person, NKI, is saying, I've s basically saying, let me read between the lines here, 
a lot of people fuck a lot of people shit on DSP's win, but they don't shit on mine. But I think it means that they probably do shit on mine. They just don't say it out loud. You know what I'm saying? But they do say it out loud to DSP because everyone hates DSP because he says it like it is. Right. Okay. I'll be honest, I'm really shaking having Peter on the team. Again, this is uh the this the shit fest that Phil did against Peter. NKI responds saying, I don't really see a problem with him being on the team. He was relatively unheard of before Evo, but if you look at the people he beat, I think he deserves a spot. After all, that's what this tourney is all about. People who weren't expected to do well but did versus those who were expected to do well but didn't. Uh, my only issue is that both NKI and Buck play Chun, and if one more of the OGs just practicing versus Chun hardcore, they basically get two free wins each, which will screw us. Chun doesn't have a free counter match. Saga does the best against her, but it's not free by any means. I don't care if it's all old five schoolers who want to choose uh, Sagat, Sagat, but I'm going to choose Chun. Besides, Buck and I play different styles, I think. I tend to turtle more when Buck just holds towards and mashes strong. Okay. Next, we have a very important update. Okay, very important update. A very important question. Excuse me. Very important question. DSP here has a question. Very important. Um. What is, the, what is the best type of switch sticks to use for ST at ECC? I'm about to buy them from Haps, but I don't, can't remember what is the best. I have played on competition, ult, competition, ultimate, and super joysticks before. I believe that competition are standard, and super is the fake 360 switch stick. It doesn't have corners, but a circular base instead. But I can't for the life of me remember what ultimate is. I definitely don't want the fake 360s. The goal here is to have the switch sticks with corners. Can anybody help? As for buttons, I just found them. They're called competition. So we should be good there. The only reason I point this out, I mean, it's DSP's comment post, so we read it anyway. But this is just like, no one's asking about this. This is ECC. Who cares? We're not talking about ECC. That's your own tournament you're putting on. No one cares. Why is this here? Why, why are you bringing this up? To change the narrative? To change the topic? <laughs> Cigar Bob does respond, though. DSP, if you want American sticks that you could feel the corners on, you have to go with the ultimate. Comp and Super both have a smooth circular motion, but the ultimates have a very, very loose spring in them. So you may want to look at a tighter spring. DSP responds, Man, I hate those ones with stupid circular baits. I like corners, but I also don't want shitty springs. Haps doesn't sell just the springs. Crapola! Crapola! Does he need Titus for that? You tell me, chat. Is that Titus worthy? I mean, it's kind of. Like it's like it's too stupid to even do it. Like no, I'm not gonna do it actually. It's just too stupid. It's too stupid. <laughs> All right, Weston. Weston says yes. So here we get it. Let's enjoy it. Crapola. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's like so dumb though. It's like whatever. <laughs> All right, let's move on positively. Uh, DSP equals George Mason. Um, is George Mason someone that is famous, or does it mean like that he's that level of player? What does George Mason do? Let me do a Wikipedia search of George Mason. George Mason. What did he do? <laughs> what did he do that could be compared to DSP? They want to know. <laughs> There's George Mason High School, uh, George Mason College. Oh, they made it to the final four of the NCCA basketball tournament? Okay. Oh, shit. Good pull. Is, if that's it, that's awesome. Basketball <laughs> tourney. <laughs> History of George Mason basketball. I'm looking at it now. Uh, they, in 2006, they did make it to the NCCA, NCAA tournament, which is the big college tournament in America. And in two, oh, they did. They got fourth place. Okay, it's hype, hype. Sports pool. <laughs> that is a very good sports pool there. Hype. Extremely hype. All right, they got fourth. Uh, let's see what he does this year at the big dance. All right, so this person is questioning e Phillips' ability to play good uh, next year in 2000, 2006. All right, because 2005, he got fourth. Let's see what he does this year at the big dance. All right. That's what this person is calling him for. Um, not 193. Uh, 
Uh, this person's talking about the springs. Uh, duck, just ask, answering a good, a good, just letting Phil derail here. Nothing much else there. Explaining about the springs. Nothing of note. Okay, so now we have we have to get back to our boy Watson. Okay, you remember Mike Watson, the guy that said, "Remember that piece of shit DSP." Watson writes his own book here. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, Watson says this, I have to read to the end, I'm not to read the whole thing, but listen to this. Uh, Watson says, I'm going to tell you guys like this, the whole thread is a very good attempt by NKI to revive the Street Fighter, the Super Turbo scene. Props brother, and props to Cigar Bob for his continued cooperation. FMJ, uh, FM Jaguar, and the rest of you for all your input. I'm going to post a few things and let people in on the truth of OG Street Fighter. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. You can still tell the ending is all we need, I promise. To, the end of, to end this thread, I would like to make this challenge. Buy a Choi Cole shirt to myself versus any five for any amount of cash you like. $10 a head, $100 a head, whatever you want. I would gladly swap out any of the five on this team for Alex Wolf, Graham Wolf, Jeff Schaefer, Tomo Ohira, and or Tomas Osaki. Don't come in here making up stupid shit like I'll play if you swap him for him or this or that. This is the street, the ST team. If you can find five players that want to donate to any of us, oh, donate, by the way, is play a money match with us and then lose. Uh, if you can find five players that want to donate to any of us, go ahead. Until then, I'm sorry. Just can't get up for the so-called challenge. No personal insults intended here. Just stating fact. We are all getting older. Games are cool but not life anymore. You want to man up and take the challenge? Post your team of five and let's do this. No one can step up and say they are top in ST because the game is really old. And on any given day, any of the top players, player, top, top players can win. Bottom line. That's a bottom line, not from DSP, but it still counts. Bottom line, Bell, please. Bottom line. Put up the cast or shut up time. Thanks, guys. Peace. Watson. So Watson is saying, I don't give a fuck what team you want. Bring them and we'll do it. Uh, NKI comes in and says, hey, we're going to do it or what? What are we doing or not? Ponder, which is one of the Cannon Brothers. <laughs> Cannon Brothers in the house. And, and anyone who ever, anyone who enters can get a big, okay, so NKI is saying like, oh, sorry, excuse me, I have to read this part too. Uh, NKI responds, Inkblot is here as well, by the way. Inkblot is here. This is a, uh, Inkblot is another Cannon Brother, one of the other Cannon Brothers. It says, 25 bucks a head, please. I say 100 because Inkblot is so confident with the West Coast, okay? Um, so then we get here, NKI says, I agree that 100 a head is a lot more exciting, but I'm a college student. I really can't afford to put up $100. Maybe if it were a straighter, uh, if I were a straight baller like some of these gangster Marvel players. Responding to Watson's post, he says, Sorry, I don't, I'm not totally clear on what you mean here. Are you saying you don't participate in this five on five like I proposed? And then NKI responds to the kind of the challenging point, right? The part that kind of was legitimately challenging him. I think everybody knows there's no group of five people in America who could take out that team. But would you be interested in reviving your old idea of the ST Gauntlet of Doom? where a single player tries to make his way through all of the OG heads. Maybe something like $25 to enter. You play each of those five OG players in two out of three or three out of five set. If you lose three sets or more, the OG players divide up your money for themselves. But if you win any three sets, you get a cash prize. So NK is just trying to, really forcing here to like new, new school versus old school. He wants it to happen. Ponder, the other Cannon brother says, and everyone who enters can get a big cardboard sign that says sucker to wear across their chest. Unless the cash prize is $500 or more, I don't think anyone will take you up on that. Not even DSP. <laughs> Not even DSP. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I got to change that. It's not her birthday. Fake news. For Largo. NKI says, hey, most people wouldn't stand a chance, but I think there are certain people who could win. Uh, blah, 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 FM. So here we go. Uh, 232 is DSP. He comes here. Wow. I couldn't get on SRK for a few days, and now everything is different. First, I don't remember agreeing to pay $25 for any team tournament ever. No offense to anyone on Team Flukesters, 
But if I'm going to put up any money and have a result not based 100% on myself, I need to be able to pick up, pick and choose my teammates. Okay, now we're backing up to, I need to choose my teammates. Cool. I was under the impression that the Team Flukesters versus Team We Got Robbed event was an exhibition, exhibition that was just for fun and for bragging rights. I'm not donating $25 when it's very possible that I could have a decent run, but then because other people on my team lose, I lose my own money. I'm 100% behind the event, but I'm not 100% for donating money when the results might not even be in my control. That's called gambling, not competition. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to find any way out of this. I mean, let's get it straight. We are trying to get out of it. Anyways, okay. However, in the event of Cigar Cigar Bob Bacardi's whatever invitational only tournament, I would consider putting up decent money for an entry since the results will be based solely on my own performance, and I will not I will have nobody to blame for losing the cash by myself. Sound good? Finally, as to Watson's challenge, if you really want to have your God OGST team five on five challenge, I will seriously work on assembling a team of new scores who can step up to the plate. I already suggested this last year, but you shot it down. Now you suddenly want to do it. One condition. One condition. This is DSP's condition. We have to get Evo staff to agree to let it run on the big screen. If I'm going to recruit people to fight the most powerful U.S. team of ST players ever, I'm going to have to promise them more than a snowball's chance in hell of making some money if you catch my drift. Besides, if this happens, it might up... Oh my God. If this happens, it might end up getting more hype than most of the singles tournaments anyway. Wow. Isn't that some foreshadowing? Remember challenging LTG? This would be more hype than the actual Evo. That was in 2023. He was thinking he could make things more hype than Evo in 2006. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Uh, amazing. There's always more amazing stuff to find in Densey Scrolls. <laughs> Watson says. I don't mean to offend you, NKI. Tourneys are fun and all. I don't mean to insult you by putting up large money to try to make it look like I'm punking you. I never look down on people with less, and I don't jock people with more. Your financial situation has zero to do with your gameplay, so I apologize if this came out wrong. What I'm stating is that no one who actually plays this game practices for an attorney. In order to get the older guys interested, a large amount of money would have to be on the line. And this is not to discourage anyone, including yourself. I, was post I wasn't posting to put down your ideas, and I wasn't posting to start a war. I just wanted to clarify a couple of things mainly Graham's posting and to vouch for his skills. I still think the most fun event would be a gauntlet, one person representing each character from the old school. New school is essentially, essentially the challenger. Put your money into play, you pass the gauntlet, you make 10x your money or whatever. Yes, that sounds a little ridiculous, but hey, so does the idea of new school beating old school. Fun idea, gauntlet. Insulting idea to old school, constant, wait, fun idea is gauntlet. Insulting idea to old school, Constant challenges for people who really don't stand a chance at this moment in time and would have had zero chance when we actually played at top level. Damn. Damn. Cigar Bob. I think five versus five for 25 is a great idea. Sure, it's not an amazing amount of money, but this is for fun and competition and to shut DSP up. To shut DSP up, which shows he's been talking shit about getting fourth place. This whole goddamn year. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> 235 DSP is back. He says, just for clarification, what events are actually going down in Cigar Bob's cabinets at Evo? So far, I've seen these proposed. All those... Things definitely not happening so far. OGST gauntlet. Would be nice to get some stuff set in stone. I need to plan for some of these events, like the team ones, ahead of time. Thanks. 
things. Bacardi says, when the venues are announced, all tournaments that are placed, w- planned will be announced. Please be patient. Please be patient. Cigar Bob responds, says all those, and uh, there will be a, a lot of, th- blah, 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 blah. okay, so that is all. Cigar Bob responded. That's what we learned. Okay. Uh, um, 239 here. Bam. Uh, Jay, uh, this is, um, Jay, Jay Sencher is James Choi. James, uh, Jay, no, James Chen. Excuse me. James Chen is Jay Chen. Jay, Jay Chen. Soar. <laughs> this is James Chen, who is still obviously very active in the community. It says the new black. Bra- oh, here we got it. Here we got it, guys. Brack brackets. The new brack bracket of death, huh? Thanks, Cigar Bob. Thanks a whole lot. <laughs> there we go. So that was just a brack bracket shout out. That's it. That's the only reason for that. Okay. Um, next, we have 241. This is DSP. Thanks for the clarification. At least now I know what stuff I'll be entering. HF should be fun, although nobody has played it in ages. I'll be going geef only the, through the entire tournament, so we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm going geef only. NKI responds, I totally understand what you means, and that would suck if you did amazingly well, went 5-0, but still lost your money because the rest of, your, rest of us lost our matches. So how about this? Everybody puts up $75, and if you lose a set, you have to pay $15 directly to the person you lost to. That way, the amount of money you make gain is not affected by how your teammates perform. Cole was saying, may I miss something? Where did DSP and Watson make any kind of bet? Okay, Cole. Is there a Cole we can find? No, that's okay. I'm not searching for it. So apparently, a bet that apparently happened, but they proved it wasn't. Okay, so here we go. 246 is... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Make sure I didn't miss anything. 242. Okay, he's 242. 243. 3. Okay. 246 is our boy DSP. And he's talking about something you definitely fucking remember. I have to make an important announcement or else I'd be irresponsible. Due to the fact that I just lost my job. Just lost my job. And it's related to ECC, if you can believe it. My friends. We've just lost our job at Best Buy. We're using our employee discount for a grand total of a dollar and a few cents. I may or ma- may or may not be attending Evo this year. It's all going to depend on how soon I can find another one, what the pay will be, etc. Up to this point, I had not expected to lose my job. <laughs> this statement you have to say, very normal statement. Up to this point, I had not expected to lose my job. As opposed to all those times you do expect it. You know, there are cases you might expect to lose it, but it's still funny to randomly say it in a a fucking Street Fighter forum. (laughs) Up to this point, I had not expected to lose my job. And I would be at Evo 100%. No, no, Roachbait, this is Best Buy, my friend. We're still at Best Buy. Sikorsky has not entered our life yet. Unless our dad is working there now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Dave is working at Best Buy at, at Sikorsky yet. But, anyways, but now to be honest, it's not looking very well since I've already spent over a thousand on ECC out of my pocket, and I didn't expect to lose my income all of a sudden. I would advise not planning any events around my appearance at Evo because right now I'm probably not going to be able to make it. Cigar Bob says, "Too bad, DSP." There are so many people that are gunning to knock you down a peg or that many pegs. <laughs> well, at least he did say too bad, DSP, but he did, he did take a shot at him, though, <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> Dogface says, yo, man, that sucks. Good luck. I hope things work out for you. So people are supportive, uh, a little supportive, at least. When someone loses their job, it's a little bit different, right? Not just shit talking to someone's play at a game. Almost done with this sidetrack thread. The sidetrack thread was too good. Like this was a sidetrack on this fucking when this fucking the, the the theme of tonight versus Afro Bob. But there was too much gold here. Like I could not say bye. I could not say no to this thread. Uh, anyway, so keep in mind though. Remember, this is still it's still all intertwined, right? Afro Legends is still very much keep the Afro Legends in your fucking mind because it has to be. 
And that fucking money match that was supposed to happen last year. NKI says, well, this is an unexpected turn of events. Wasted. Oh, I got that. The only thing I can think of right now is dropping it down to four on four because it looks like Watson and DSP won't be participating and going back to the original $25 a head. Does that sound okay? All right, so trying to change it, right? How about this? Let's change it back, okay? Uh, let's go to this one next. Afro Legends enters the chat. What's cracking, people? I just want to inform you guys that at the moment, I may not be able to make it to Evo this year due to personal issues, mostly because of money. I'm starting a second job on Wednesday, and I already have school full-time. My cash flow has been... Okay, I'll read this, Afro Legends. My cash flow has been tighter than the chick I'm banging now, and it's stressing me out. Right now, I would say I'm 50-50, but I'll see where I stand financially in a month with my second job. From Afro Legends himself. All right. DSP responds directly to Afro Legends and saying, I'm also still jobless. Now we're in May of 2006. We're still jobless. All right. Um, then let's go to NKI is saying, Hey, I guess if neither DSP nor Afro can make it, we'll just scrap this event in favor of more casual. So all these 300 posts we read is now scrapped. Not going to happen because DSP and Afro are not going to happen. Unfortunately, guys, the event is not going to happen. But don't fret. Five years later, five years later, November 2010, Evil says, I think this is what Watson was referring to when he smashed on DSP. I believe that what he's talking about is the, the, that interview where he says DSP is a piece of shit, though. I think. I don't know, but <laughs> this thread was definitely Necroed. Yeah, that, that was a Necro thread just to shit on DSP. <laughs> uh, but then Shinji Gohan says, not really. It's pretty much as Watts explained it on the interview. So hey, this, Shinji Gohan says, I don't think it was. And there we go. So now, though, for continue for continuity continue continuation pop up purposes, we're going to show you. Um, we're going to go to this is from 2006. Okay, this is 2006. This is Evo East. Okay, now I have to bring this up because uh, it all ties together. It all ties together. It, continuity. I can't say that word, uh, but yeah. This is Evo East, okay? And Evo East, as we look through here, uh, it, it's a tournament to get into Evo. You can qualify for Evo at this. Um, I know you can't see all the pictures. It's not important, though. Just, just pictures uh, of what Evo East looked like. Um, this is Evo East 2006, has sponsors. Uh, e this is when Phil uh, went to many qualifiers to tried to get to, to qualify for EVO for 2006. Remember, he got 2005, he was fourth place, has to qualify again. He does really well at this one, okay, really well. This is the Cannon Brothers. Go shopping here, you can see a little better. Cannon Brothers shopping for, that's uh, Jay, going for um, Cannon Brother right there. I'm not sure which one, but he's going to buy TVs for the tournaments. Uh, both Cannon Brothers there. Shopping at what appears to be not sure where they're shopping at, but there we go. They're buying the TVs. Uh, let's go back to the album because we don't look through this whole thing. They're buying TVs. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'll put the link in chat if you guys want to see it. It's kind of cool to see this old stuff. But yeah, these are all... I'm not in these photos, no. Thanks for asking. There's a few DSP picks here. This is the Hate Eternal shirt. DSP is playing. Uh... Somebody don't have the name for that. Uh, we have uh, a few more. Let's go. I think he said a few more. We can't spend all night here. A lot of legends can be found. There we go. Josh Wigfall in the house. ESP falling asleep. Very hype. What's this? It looks like a. Tell what his stick is, his stick art. Anyway, uh, I think there's there's a legend you might know, right there. 
a very young legend right there left no need to say his name we all understand that uh i think there's a few more this is there's the back of his head king of kings europe 2004 yeah cool talking with somebody bvs2 <laughs> Uh, so anyways, um, just for the record, DSP does win this tournament. This is the uh, Evo East. He does win, and he does face um Justin Wong in the finals and wins. This is again, it's just it's not Evo, okay? It's Evo qualifier, so it's not quite winning. But for the for record purposes, he did do good in this one. There he is. <laughs> Uh, this gentleman right here, I believe, is NKI. Playing, uh, sat right in front of DSP is NKI. I believe. I'm not 100% good on old fighting game people, but I believe that's NKI, if my memory is correct. Check out this profile. Very hype. That's a hype profile right there. <laughs> I'll just leave that there for a second. You can come up with your own conclusions. Uh, let me see. I think I will get to the picture so you know I'm not lying to you. GG's, GG's, GG's. This is the finals here. Oh, not finals. One of, uh, first final. Oh, first final match. Yeah. All right. Julian Robinson here against Ju Julian Robinson. Hate this shirt. Hate this. Yeah. Him again. Yeah. Total gamer in the new balance. The new balance. I've been rocking since 2006. Gamer mode. You better watch the fuck out. I get these new balance on. I kick them right up your ass, all right? And shit them out. <laughs> I do want to show you the finals one. Where is it? Let me get the fuck out of here. Uh, this is Sir Wong versus Sir Sir Phil. Sir Wong versus Sir Phil. This is a very famous picture. Uh, in our world. <laughs> Not in the real world, but this is a very famous picture. These two gentlemen will go to extremely different paths in their life. Both will become renowned for many different reasons. But this was the beginning of their journey. And this is DSP triumphant in his victory over Sir Wong on Evo East. 2006, okay? And that was it. Justin, DSP wins it all. Okay, DSP does win that one all. Okay, so, why do I have to show you that one? Because we have to get to this. What I say by this? Another post created by DSP. DSPs get hated on. Money match madness at Evo. <laughs> So, again, DSP has set this up for himself. It's his own money match. Money match post, okay? Original post. A lot of people have asked why I'm not going through with some of these huge, stupid challenges that are getting thrown on IRC and such. It's because, unlike people like Hivad, I'm not a fucking baller, and I don't have that much money to throw around. What I'm trying to do is have a pretty decent sized pot of money matches that are reasonable amounts. Reasonable amounts. The purpose of this thread is to list the money matches I've already accepted and to also see if anyone else out there is interested. Please, if you're going to challenge me, make it a game that I play. <laughs> but I'm not dumb enough to accept challenges in Alpha or CBS2, so keep that shit out of here. Make it reasonable. 
Don't challenge me for 5000 when you know I can't accept. Keep bets reasonable. Lowest I'll accept is 10 Average size will probably be 20 And the largest I'm willing to do with anyone is 100 Alright, so keep it reasonable, you fucks. Keep the sets short. Nobody wants to see us play first to 10. That shit takes too long. So, just to read all the matches he gets, he has a match against Vizant, Ski Sonic in the house, former guest of the show, Ski Sonic, Versetti, Flash Metroid, Sue Mighty, Alex Kali Power, Valle, Bucktooth, Afro Legends, and let me remind you, my friends, the oh-so-hype match from last year that didn't happen because Afro's joystick didn't work on any PS2. Will we see that money match now? Will we? I'll let you know after this break. Just kidding, no breaks. Uh, Afro, <laughs> will it finally happen? The match, the fabled match. Will it happen? We got a match against NKI. We got a match against Dark Umas. Who is this guy? We got a match against Varn, the very person that was going to vote for them instead of, instead of Afro Legends the year previous. What's going to happen? Dolly Picard says, who is Dark Umas? Sick AE player. I'll just spectate the money matches. Right? Um, Sue Mighty says, I'll play you for 50 or 100 in Marvel. I'll mirror match you. DSP? Hells no. I'm not stupid enough to think I could beat anybody who's actually good at Marvel. I haven't played the game seriously in ages. And Wigfall owns me every time I try to enter a tournament. So if you want to fuck around for like 10, 3, 5, I consider that. Anything else, just a donation to you. Versetti, I'll accept your match if you reduce the games to 2 to 3 or 5. 4 to 7 is too much for so little and for shitty Marvel. Get fucked in Marvel. Versetti, as we can see, does, does admit that 3 out of 5 is good for me. Uh, um, so look at... <laughs> So, oh, this is funny. This is funny, by the way. The Almighty says, DSP, play me third strike for 22 to 3. I'm not Marnetto. Uh, DSP responds, I accept, Sue. Look forward to having you hand me my ass in a paper bag. Thy Almighty, Sue, you have a third strike avatar. So the answer is no. You obviously play the game. <laughs> so if you have, a, you have a third strike avatar, my friend, that's a no-go. It's a no-fucking-go. R. Sigley here is quoting, in my opinion, quoting DSP. They say, Lay the fuck off the money match and side event madness that is becoming Evo. The forums have become so overrun with this crap, nobody can actually discuss legitimate things about Evo, like who will actually win singles events. This is a quote. They didn't do it the official way to do quotes, so I'm just guessing. It's very much... Big ups on paper. <laughs> Good luck on your pool. Awesome time capsule. Yeah, this is. This is a fucking great one, man. I'm having fun. Let's see your pool real quick. Barrett Barrage in the house. <laughs> Not bad. Some people do a lot of pools to get that. <laughs> so, um, Druss says, uh, blah, 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 I like DSP over Rossetti. I'll play DSP. A lot of people calling him out, calling him out, calling him out. We have a definite DSP here. Uh, yeah, so, so, so yeah, so, exactly, Flash Metroid is making me more certain about that quote earlier, he says, weren't you that same guy who made a thread about money matches being bad or something? Anyway, I'll take a couple, so that, that's definitely referencing that previous post I showed you. Um, NKI is quite challenging, everyone is happy to challenge DSP, everybody is happy, coming out of the woodwork. Here we go, DSP responds to a few people now. Uh, Rob says, it's obvious nobody wanted to listen. I might as well try have... Oh, yeah, so... Again, so, yeah, excuse me. It 100% is Phil. Uh, Rob, since it's obvious nobody wanted to listen, I might as well try to have some fun at Evo and win some money because it looks like I won't have any other chance to play games besides money matches. When in Rome, do what the Romans do. Besides, it will keep me out of the casino where I'll just blow even more money. Phil has a gambling problem already. I mean, it seems that way. It appears as if. 
he has a gambling problem right now, right? <laughs> Dios, do I know you? It's hard to gauge if I stand a chance against somebody if they have no idea who they are. I'll accept both sides. I'll accept both bets. Accept it, of course. You were probably better than me at all three games. So the answer is no. Get your free money elsewhere. Bucktooth? I'm probably not going to do any more than $100 bets. That's too high stakes with all these smaller bets. I'm now accepting taking. I'm now taking. It adds up. However, if you want to do something like three or five games for 20 each, I'll definitely accept. Bucktooth quickly with the quickness says 20 it is. <laughs> 20 it fucking is. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going here. Just a few more bets here on the show because this is is related to our topic. Yeah, uh, uh, Black Dude, he said he went to, he said he didn't go to any casinos, but yet then he did go to a few. I was confused on that, right? Yeah, Bruce Wayne, you're correct. The, the rules for money matches are extremely strict. You can't be good at the game. It can't be a large bet. You can't do a long set and it can't be someone you don't know. Thank you for saying all those. Afro Legend says, I'm most likely going to Evo now. Okay, there we go. The action is heating up. The match might actually happen. Afro Legends is going to Evo. About an 85% chance he's going. I'm down for three versus three out of five for AE up to whatever amount of money. If you show up, DSP responds, if you show up three for five for 20 and you have to do it this year, regardless of the joystick that works. Okay, you hear it. It's back on, boys. It's back on. We have to settle the score here. It, regardless of the joystick, we're doing it. Afro Legends says, I'm down. You're not going to beat me. It's back on, boys. We're here. It is time. The match is going to happen no matter fucking what. DSP responds, sorry, buddy. This year I used more than just Vega. And you only use DJ. Can you say oops, rape? Thanks, DSP. <laughs> oops, rape is the kind I haven't heard before. But DSP said it in 2000, August 2016, uh, 2006. Excuse me. Sorry, buddy. This year I used more than just me. Very cool. Very chill. Very cool, very chill. Can you say oops? All right. Move together positively here as we get to the end of this thread. Uh, I, this is kind of funny, so I want to say it. DSP, two out of three, five dollars, rock, paper, scissors, a real game of mind games. Phil says, I'm not doing any XFS money matches. I decided I'm now officially so rusty in that game. I haven't played it once since the last Evo, and I sucked them with low tiers, and I haven't picked top tiers since 2002 that I don't even think I'm going to enter the XFS tournament. Rock, paper, scissors? What the fuck? Like, it's just a joke, dude. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's just a joke. Jumpsuit says, If I were going, I would definitely take the DSP hate challenge. Lucky for you, I am not going. Um, next up, we have... I believe we're going to get some NKI high. Oh, Afro Legends, excuse me. Afro Legends has a request, and we love to fill those requests. He says, I have a request. Could somebody please record my money matches with DSP, then up it on SRK? I'm going to embarrass and noobify him. Instead of being known as the king of hate, he'll be known as the king of noobs after I execute him. Afro. So Afro buying into the building hype here. NKI agree is done. I'm bringing my camcorder. Decoy says, what happened to modesty, Afro? LOL, good luck. You won't need it. <laughs> good luck. You won't need it. Against DSP, you will not need it. Afro Legend says, I'm just trying to spice things up. Don't get confused. DJ is a wankster. DJ is the truth. Maracas for the win. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, anyways, that's the end of this one. That's the end of this thread. The thread ends just about there. So, as you can see, let's walk through our storyline here, my friends. 2005, there was a money match on the table between Afro Legends and DSP. Afro Legends asked DSP if it was going to happen Friday and Saturday, almost to the point of being annoying. 
DSP did not let that game happen because Afro Legends did not want to do it in Cigar Bob's weird sticks. Now we've went, we've come forward a full year. DSP has that experience now in 2005 of having fourth place finish. Now in 2006, we're coming back to Evo. Thought we might not make it because we lost our job at Best Buy, but now both Afro and DSP have the funds required and are going to go to Evo 2006 for their fabled money match. Are you ready to hear about the money match? Let's get to it, gamers. And see scrollers. Hope you're having fun so far. Because now it's time to get into it. We are going back. We are going back. We are going back to the first thread we started the night with. The one that begun in August of 2005. As you can see on your screen, one year later a post was made. One year later, a post was made. And it says, um, this person responding here, put me $100 on Afro, please. This thread has been necroed one year later because now the event is happening. The event is definitely happening. People want in now. Afro says, DSP, not saying you are not a good OG player. But I know Afro Legends since Evo 5, and he ended up in the top eight this Evo, not you. I also believe Alex Vaya can come up strong this year and has a lot to do with Afro's help, time, effort, heart. So maybe Vaya has been coaching, coaching Afro Legends a little bit, maybe. We don't know. He says, I am pretty sure you have not heard about Afro because you don't know how you. Oh, yeah, this is this is this is interesting. I'm pretty sure you may not have heard about Afro because you don't have many friends to talk to and get isolated quite a bit. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure you may not have heard about Afro because you don't have many friends to talk to and got isolated quite a bit. No friends, not many friends to talk to. August 2006. Pick up some Snort Hogan pull. Snort a mania. Three gold star version. But if there is a match between you and Afro, I don't, I don't seem to have a choice but betting on Afro. No hard feelings. If the bet is over then, too bad I missed it. Who won? <laughs> and here we go. Shinji Gohan dropping the T. From my understanding, they got a chance to do it last Evo. Afro won three and O. Oh. Amazing. August 2006. We get more details. I know it's not, not yet, Toxic. Not yet. I didn't put it in yet. I'll do have to do it tomorrow. Uh, dude, Afro literally fucked up DSP. Here's what I saw. DSP getting ready for his match against Afro. They sit down. I turn away for 10 minutes for playing some casuals in AE. Look back after 10 minutes to where DSP and Afro were playing. DSP hands Afro his money. Pwned. <laughs> of course we have to get DSP's take on this, don't we, boys and girls? Let's go. DSP has to chime in. Two things. Two things to know, okay? Two things I want you to remember, okay? Who shut the fuck up? I didn't even care, okay? Anyways, here we go. Afro has actually been practicing hardcore with Alex Valle a few weeks pre-Evo. He really upped his game. An added Balrog to his lineup of characters made him very much better than he was last year. On the other hand, I live on the East Coast and have no competition to play with. I had to actually train people on basics. <gasps> Is that shitting on Rambo? Could be. Anyways, I had to actually train people on basics in order to even learn anything. So the first, the first excuse is... Afro practiced with Alex Valle. And he is much better than he was last year. And me, on the other hand, I live on the East Coast and have no competition. 
So, in short, <laughs> no friend Burnell. In short, Afro Legends has people that respect him and will practice with him while DSP does not. Sound good? Let's go to point two. It's even longer. When we played, oh, here we go. <laughs> when we played Saturday night, I was pretty out of it. After I choked in AE to Tokido, and pretty much single handedly ruined the top eight by letting him get by me, I went out and ate a huge fat burger meal and then drank four shots and four beers in an hour. <laughs> it's not my fault I lost. I drank. It's not my fault I posted that shit on the forums, Jaha. I'm an alcoholic. It's not my fault I d lost. I ate a huge fat burger. Four shots and four beers. Former alcoholic. I then came back and played all my XFF matches. Pretty buzzed. So four shots and four beers. Pretty buzzed. Even in my deepest days of alcoholism. Four shots. I'm feeling pretty good. You know what I'm saying? That's the... <laughs> four shots of four beers. That's a pretty big night, even for the biggest of drinkers, isn't it? But anyways, um, after that, I was actually feeling pretty sick. Because Fat Burger is ass, and I'll never eat there again. Afro Legends asked me to play our matches, and I said, okay. How dare he? How dare he ask for those matches? What an asshole, am I right? I didn't really give a shit at that point because I knew he'd made the top eight and I didn't. I didn't really give a shit at that point. Now, we're hearing how we didn't even care about it. Sound good? <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care, okay? I don't even care. All right, so just for the excuse counter, excuse counter loving people out there. Uh, so we ha it, he was out of it. Uh, he was out of it because he choked in his top eight match. He then was he then ate fat burger and drank four shots and four beers. Uh, he then played all of his XFS matches, but he was buzzed, and then he also didn't care. All right, keep up. Keep up with these excuses, guys. I know it's tough, but you got to keep up with that, all right? It's not for me. Yeah, that's a good idea. I need, I need some, uh, some violin music for the excuse segments. Good, good point. I'll work on that. Remind me if I don't do it, because I forget that kind of shit. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> that's the other. That's, I set up that new subscribe thing. Every hour it'll go. That means we've been going for fucking three hours already? Holy shit. Uh, yeah, White Run. White Run's the best, because, you know, just in case Kat's watching, she'll appreciate that. Holy shit, Nick. How'd you get back up to that much? How do you always get that much? Nick. Cheater. I don't even care, okay? I don't even fucking care. I'm drunk. Catbot's drunk. Catbot didn't care. She, was, she went to Fat Burger. Had a burger. Took four shots. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Got distracted. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I didn't really give a shit at that point because I knew he'd made top eight and I didn't. I think first round, I might have picked Balrog. And then after that, I picked ST Vega twice. I haven't played ST Vega in A since Evo East versus Mopri for only one match. And then before that, ECCX when I won AE. I was just fucking around. <laughs> I was just fucking around, guys. I was just fucking around. I turned off emoji. It pissed me off. I was just fucking around now. Sound good? I wasn't trying. I was out of it. I was drunk. I was just fucking around. Cool. Very cool. 
I'm not making excuses at all. <laughs> Hold on. Come here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a legitimate one. <laughs> oh, I know what to do. <laughs> yes, the new one. That's what we fucking need. <laughs> Afro Legends has improved greatly from practicing with Valle. And you all saw how badly I got raped by him. And in a real match that I cared about, he probably could have still beaten me. But my only point was that if I was highly inebriated and not really caring about anything anymore when I played him. Oh, wait, oh sorry. My only point was that I was highly inebriated and not really caring about anything anymore when i played him <laughs> yes the salt oh i can taste his salt <laughs> i wish that i could say that i'll be back better than ever next evo but the fact of the matter is is that i'm already the best on my coast i'm already the best on my coast i'm already the best on my coast and there's no chance of me getting any better when you have absolutely nobody better than you to play, you've hit a plateau. Reminder, Justin Wong is an East Coaster. I know that a lot of... But he beat him in this Evo East. That's why he's saying this. Uh, I know that a lot of players are getting pumped up for the new release of ST on PS2 in November. But honestly, for me, I don't think it'll make any difference. As long as the West Coast OGs have each other to practice with and I have nobody, I will never be breaking top eight again. Destined to be the winner of Evo East and nothing more. Pretty lame. Well, you're right about that. You're right about that. You were right about that. Shinji Gohan says, um, obviously not buying this shit, as he never does. From my understanding, he's has a sick rog, a ball rog, and Ryu since before last Evo. And after said Evo, his stick broke and he didn't even bother to get it fixed. He also hadn't after cared hadn't even cared for this. Uh, he, he also hadn't after cared for this next Evo until literally a couple weeks ago and has had no practice prior to it. He didn't even think that he was going to go to Evo and didn't even bother with the West Coast qualifiers. Damn. Damn. The final word of this cut thread, the 68 of 68 at the bottom, you can't see it's too low. But Well, we all have our bad games and bad moments. I had the same against J-Ron and Arcade. But for now, this money match issue is over and done with. Besides, you still get the money winnings from Evo East qualifiers, which is better than nothing. Okay? So, a non-crazy person would neatly end up this show right now, right? We started with the money match. We have the ending of the money match resolution. But I, my friend, am that crazy. And we have one more thread to go tonight. One more thread I want to go through today because it kind of has to do with this thread. And we're not kind of, there's no other way to go put this one. So I kind of want to get this one in as well. This is March of 2007. Okay. So we're going forward uh, six months. Okay. So we're six months ahead. Now we're in March 2007. March 2007. Uh, Cigar Bob here wants to put on a tourney. Okay. And uh, it's about masters or whatever, whatever. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a grudge match, okay? Grudge matches are happening. This is where, like, hype things are playing. DXP, at this point, is going to be there. And Afro Legends is going to be there as well. Two of our main characters today um, are coming. Are coming to this thing, okay? We have a lot of money matches listed here. A Cigar Bob versus DSP. All the money matches. We're going to see those later, so I'm going to show you all those. But this is a big, big hype. You know, tournament is happening, all right? Cigar Bob is making a tournament here himself. All right. So Watson says, um, <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. where is it? Um, so this uh, 31, where is it? LOL at White Watson says, <clears throat> here we go. LOL at DSP. Can't beat Justin on ST Arcade. Ha ha. GJ, J. Wong, maybe Justin should take his place in Masters Tourney. Funny shit. Let the good times begin, bitches. Watson says that. So where did DSP say something about... Oh, excuse me. I'm so fucking stupid. I forgot this one. This is DSP. And I will read this. In... I'm reading what DSP wrote, writes. I am not reading what, what I would ever say. Are you ready? I will be. 
I'm just worried that some random Jap is going to go home with 2K. But after back-to-back losses to Tokido, I'll be damned if I let that happen again. So call me Godzilla, because I stomp on Japs. I am purposely letting the silence speak for me here. You could not tell. <laughs> okay. I'm posting that to Twitter right now. <laughs> Mar- uh, this going on Twitter right now. March 2007. That's one the world needs to see, right? You know, it's just a funny, interesting one. The SPR boy. <laughs> Big ups, Gojira. Yes. I know it was a different time, and I have seen a lot of people use that term in these forums. It was just more said, I guess. But anyways, this is, um, that is DSP there. <laughs> okay, Watson responds, saying LOL at DSP. Uh, next, we get back to 35. <clears throat> um, so, and NKI is back. And uh, DXP, if you still want to run that bet from ECC 11, which, what was it, 3 for 5 for 20, I'm down. So another bet that he apparently ran from. And we heard many people saying he's ran from bets before. So, (laughs) there we go. Uh, 57 here. We're going to keep moving forward. This is a short one, shorter one. Right. Uh, then we have Cigar Bob in here. And Cigar Bob says, what am I, what am I here for? Uh, oh, 57, excuse me. Uh, so 57, right here. Pan, okay, I know this is confirmed. I wouldn't know this unless it wasn't confirmed later, but he says, uh, Pan Ver- Pan- Pat Van Pelt, that guy sucks. I beat him down so bad at final round, they took XFF, XFF, XSF out of, out of the machine and put ST in. This is DSP here. I point that out because someone responds directly to that. 71. So he's saying he beat this gentleman so bad they changed the game. This person says, Pat Van fucking Pelt is God. All right. DSP again. Um, DSP says, I'll probably be entering as a one-man gang since nobody is any good at XFF over here. Cigar Bob says, there will be no one-man gangs allowed. I may do it, but that is because it is me and I only want to play with Saber. You must find a partner. You must find a partner. DSP says, then this tournament is pretty stupid. There are no East Coast XSF players. This person says, you're telling me. System says, didn't I team with you before? I don't remember. Last year's XSS sucks. Balls. The second geef wasn't selectable. Cigar Bob says, um, Phil, this is a team tourney. There is nothing stupid about it. You have five months to find someone to play with. If you can't do that, then you need to look at yourself and ask why people don't want to play with you. Ooh. 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 Come on, man. Keep going. It seems like you'd have some friends on the entire East Coast. You're right, Red. Because I don't know any XFF players to ask besides you, Saber, Dogface, and Mega Man DS. I don't... C- I don't come from the West Coast, man. I don't know anybody out there that plays. And like I said, nobody over here plays seriously. So essentially, this is a hope you live in a high competition XFF area or are cool with XFF. X- I'm saying that so XFF. I keep saying XFF. I don't care. Unless you are cool with XFF players from across the globe or else you are asked out tournament. Lame. Especially since if I entered myself and only played once, I would make top three anyway, with low tiers. Turns out the hardest challenge of all was Phil finding a friend. That was the hardest challenge. 
Mega Man DS says, ouch, as many of you did in chat. Justin Wong plays, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of solo, so we can just pair you up with someone else that's solo. Thanks for saying that, Mega Man DS, because Justin Wong is an East Coaster. He'd love to play with you. Up there, that Chinatown fair, right? Justin Wong's always there. Why can't you play with him? And I think he's pretty good. Scar Bob says, Personally, I find it disrespectful that just because you are unable to find a teammate to play with, you would trash on my tourney. I really don't appreciate that. If you can't find a teammate, then sorry, but that doesn't make the tourney lame. It just sucks that you can't enter. Oh, God. See why I had to show this too? Easy for you to say. Right. It's easy for you to say. Easy for you to say. Since you already have a team locked, okay? I'm still looking for a partner. I wait all year to come to Evo and play XSXSF because it's the absolute only place I can, one, get real comp, and two, even play the game on working controls. Last year, that was a bust when Geef was pretty much obliterated due to no kick lariats. Now I find out the XSF tournament is going to be teams and there's no singles. You may find it disrespectful that I don't like teams, but I find it disrespectful that the only real XSF tournament that is going to be run this year is going to be team format. When clearly I'm the only person who has ever played the game seriously on the East Coast. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Holy shit, man. Oh, God. Everyone knows I'm not a scrub. Forcing teams and telling me you can't enter by yourself, I consider a slap in the face. Dude. Yes, yeah, suck fuck. Fucking legend. You're right. I'm not a huge, it's not a huge deal. Oh, your writing paragraphs tells me otherwise. It's not a huge deal. I'm still going to have crazy fun with ST Masters money matches, casuals, and other stuff. And I really appreciate your dedication to the scene and the fact that you're bringing your cabs. You know, this is all just nonsense to me. Oh, fuck you. It's not just nonsense. If it was just nonsense, you wouldn't give a fuck about this. C please. It, it, nothing. Please get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Jenna's doing the right right there. Thanks, Jenna, behind chat. But I wish XFF was singles rather than this unfair format. Unfair format because you have to find a friend. This unfair format. Hey guys, we're gonna play at doubles tennis. What? What? Doubles? I have to find a friend? What is this unfair format? <laughs> Imagine in high school. All right, guys, we're doing tennis today. It's going to be doubles. What? This is so unfair. I need to find a friend? Yeah, it must be easy for you, all you other 30 people in the class, because you already have friends. I don't. This is so unfair. You gotta be kidding me, man. And as for Justin Wong, ooh, and as for Justin Wong, when was the last time Justin entered a tournament that he knew he couldn't win? He knew he couldn't win. This is the same reason he won't be entering ST Masters. No chance at money whatsoever. He knows he's only average at XSF and won't enter. NKI, throw in the line. Phil, if you really can't find anyone, I'll team up with you. <laughs> Phil, if you can't find anyone, I'll team up with you. I'll team up with you. God damn it, I'll team up with you, you bastard. <laughs> Cigar Bob, that is great. But have you ever really played XFF or any Marvel for that matter? I think I saw your name on some video like 10 years ago, but I can't remember for sure. So NKI doesn't even play this game. <laughs> so that's what we learned there. <laughs> Saber says, well, after what happened in XFF last year with Justin after Mega Man DS got him riled up, good job. 
Yeah, don't know if he'll do it again. So Justin Wong might not want to play that. I don't know. Um, go to the next post. It's, it's really funny how these, like, this storyline has involves NKI, DSP, and, like, just dog face gentlemen, you know? Um, and here you go, dog face, dog face, dog face. Get ready for another Bob. Seriously, Phil, screw you. Last year you were done with your pools by Friday, early Saturday. It wasn't until I asked you to play in a money match Saturday afternoon that you even picked Zangief. You didn't play him once in your previous 30 matches, and in 2005 when you entered, you played Saber Jugs. So when did Kick Lariat became so goddamn important to you winning an attorney? Seriously. Dog face not letting DSP retcon his way out of this shit. Ready? Let's read. I'm going to read again what DX, DSP said so we, don't for, we didn't forget it, right? He says, last year there was a bust when Geef was pretty much obliterated due to no kick lariats. So that means this person right here, Dogface, is saying, listen. Oh, former alcoholic in the house. Three-star former alcoholic. Uh, last year, you were done with your pools by Friday and Saturday. You didn't play Zangief until early Saturday afternoon. You didn't play him once in your previous tournament matches. So when does this kick Lariats be some goddamn important? I'll let you use that bullshit excuse. Wait, I let you use that bullshit excuse about kick Lariat for a long time, but now you use it again? Citing as why last year's X versus SF tourney sucked? If I recall, you said that two, 2005 sucked because you got infinite into death by top tiers. What's your reason? Last year you lost to top tier infinite whores? This year you couldn't play Geef? Sometimes the sticks were messed up. Now it's, I can't find a partner. And screw you for saying you get top three. You just said you don't play at all during the year. Um, so how would you get top three? You can't practice with anyone since no one out there is good, right? Or else you'd have a partner. And if you're so goddamn top three good, you should be able to win without Geef. I mean, I play three characters. You losing because you don't have Geef just shows how not Top three, you are. Oh, God. How many have we had tonight? This is fucking gold, man. This might be one of the best episodes. I think. In terms of just destruction. This has been a night of the most destruction, I feel, we've ever had. I mean, that one Snitchinator episode beats it, but this is close. This is fucking close. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Cigar Bob says, wow. And remember I told you, remember I told you about what DSP does when someone has spits facts and really can't defend anything he says? Let's hear the DSP's response here. You don't see the long paragraphs. You see the backpedaling. You see the amic amical ability come out. I was going to reply to this with a long and witty post, but I'm tired from a long weekend in NYC, and I'm drained. Right, right, right. Vic, I know you're just trying to start building hype for the XF edit, so it's cool. Maybe I'll enter, and maybe I won't. Honestly, this year is my focus is going to be pretty narrow on ST for the time of my Evo trip with the level of competition and the number of events that will be taking place. So while I can debate with you until the cows come home, it really doesn't matter that much to me. Good luck this year. So as you see again, we have a runaway. It's a runaway Philip, guys. Watch out. Runaway Phil coming. Watch out. Let's get him running. Thanks for the membership. Push the wrong button, sorry. <laughs> Let's get him running. Run, Phil, run. There he goes, running away. Left side of your screen. He's running away. Someone has a good point. Run away. Run away, Phil. Go, go, go. Run quick, quick, quick. Oh, he's running away again on the right side. 
Run, run, run. Go, 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 go. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> Bernie. Bernie doesn't give a fuck. Phil, you suck at this game. And this game sucks in general. So what's your problem? <laughs> I'll team up with you if you really care, but it's not like we'll win anyway. After all, no one else on the East Coast besides you has ever taken this game seriously. So you should, oh, so he's kind of proven DSP's point there, though, a little bit. So you should be able to kill everyone by yourself anyways. Oh, well, this maybe not. Actually, hold on. Maybe he's, he's, he's kind of ironically saying that, sarcastically saying that. After all, no one else on the East Coast besides you has ever taken this seriously. So you should be able to kill everyone by yourself anyway, singles or teams. They still have to beat you, don't they? Um, so there we go. Uh, Dogface says, uh, thanks, Phil. Good luck with ST. Dogface with the first Ooh, Batman. <laughs> <clears throat> 150 <clears throat> likes attained. Thank you guys for liking the stream today. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Good luck with ST. Good luck with ST. Almost done here. It's a few more. Oh, Batman. Okay, so remember... Remember that Phil said in that previous post, I'm going to be focusing on ST, by the way? All right, well, we're back. I'm okay with it. The new rule was two character things. Cigar Bob set up a new rule about two characters or whatever. Whatever, not important. I'm okay with the two character thing because I think I can narrow my character selection to two. That pretty much beats the entire cast. However, I am really against only playing one character throughout the whole Masters event. That strongly favors players like Yan, Cole, and Kiai, and others who only play one character seriously in tournament play. Right now, I'm juggling, no, tossing around three characters in my mind who I would want to use in this thing. And I think that being forced into picking only one is really going to fuck me over, especially if I put too much practice into that character, then get owned in the Evo signals because I limited myself too much. If you want me to be honest, if we're paying $100 entry, we should be able to pick whoever the heck we want. Is this limited to one character? If this is limited to one character only, I might back out. I had no idea it was a one character deal. Didn't read that anywhere in the rules. There's so much backing out of, of these things. Like, it, it just, it's amazing. <laughs> just he backs out every, of everything. He'll find whatever reason there is to back out. And then when he does play, he'll give you reasons to why he lost. And it's all like, and then it didn't care anyway. It's no big deal. I don't care. What? <laughs> and this is Cigar Bob's response to that, by the way. As of right now, there is no character restriction on the Masters Tourney. I'm just tossing around the idea of allowing the players to choose two characters and to play in the tourney. Heck, I wouldn't play in a tourney for 100 that only let me pick one character. For now, there's no character restriction. I don't think there will be any in the future. So again, he hears what he wants to hear. And it's, it's you know, whatever. Let's keep moving forward positively here. <laughs> God damn it, man. DSP is not done talking on this thing he doesn't care about, by the way. Remember, he doesn't care about this. He doesn't care. Doesn't care at all. <clears throat> Um, so the, uh, cigar Bob asked a question about, um, here's a few ideas, right? And no one responded fast enough, I guess. And cigar Bob responds with, wait, there's no, there's, isn't one opinion on this. I will post it on the main page. We can make the decision Evo before the tourney starts. Okay. System one says, I don't think anybody's looking that far forward. Make it to the top four. This event is going to be harder than climbing Mount Everest barefoot. Cool. Very cool. Very Phil. Very, very, very cool. Very chill. Very cool metaphor there. It's going to be harder than climbing Mount Everest barefoot. Very cool. Cigar Bob says, I am looking that far forward. If I should be able to make it through and get top four, I would like to know what the format will be. But that is just me. Okay. 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 Now that we're walking through about Everest barefoot. By the way, I talked to Campbell last night. 
And we'd like to... Oh, this is DSP, by the way. Um, I talked to Campbell last night. We'd like to propose an amazing, unstoppable new ST team. Buck Tizzle, Bucktooth, the Throwing Beast, NKI, the Chun-Li Surgeon, DXP, the uh, Button Pusher. Can you say new ST team champs? NKI, how you feel about this? Funny, very cool. Um, NKI says here, um, I'm actually waiting to hear back from Alex and Graham to see if they want to team up. But if that fails through, sure, I'll team up with you and Champ Bell. Champ Bell. <laughs> okay. Second choice again, sounds like to me. Uh, I love this. I love this Bacardi. Renegated to backup status. Dis. <laughs> Talking about DSP. Renegated to backup status, bitch. <laughs> Uh, next up, that is pretty fucked up. I take, this is DSP, by the way. Uh, that is pretty fucked up. I take second fiddle to no one. I was going to call this team two Chinese chicks and one big dick. But now I'm going to have to upstage that. Very cool. Funny joke there. Funny joke for all the comedy fans out there. NKI, remember from the post, the thread I showed you last time? I still like Team Flukesters. That was a year ago. He started that thread. This is, uh, this is, if you still feel like a, if you still feel you're a fluke, I feel pretty bad for you, my friend. Um, I'm not sure who that is. That might be DSP, uh, but I don't know. I can't promise that one. Uh, then a, a legend joins the chat here and says, Omni, and I did not know who Omni was, Okay. It says, me versus DXP, first to five for 50, as told by the laugh at last Alphaism show. So that got me excited, because I love Alphaism. That is my favorite radio show. And I found the radio show where that happens. So would you like to have a little audio content, everybody, to round out your night? Here is, and this is a, this is a legendary episode. This is the Snitchinator episode, actually. Uh, we didn't play this part of the episode, but let's hear when Reishin Ken, or Omni, as he's called on the forums, Challenges Phil to that very fifth, first to five for 50. It's really short, but it's, it's, it's good for his historical purposes. Am I good now? Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, yeah, you're good. All right, cool, cool. So, DSP, we still good for that money match, right? What the hell money match? What are you talking about? Well, I talked to you about it yesterday. You said uh, first to five for 50 for NST. Oh, yeah, I'm cool with that. That's fine. All right, cool, cool. I'm bringing Throw Lee into the mix, man, so just letting you know. You're bringing what? Throw Lee. Who the hell's Throw Lee? Come on now, chill me, man. <laughs> You're going to pick Chun Lee on me? Yes. All right, good luck. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I'm just letting you know, man. I may not be NKI, but I can still throw now. Yeah. Man, I respected your skills, and I just want to see. Uh, just want to match up real quick. Yeah, well, NKI was lucky that I didn't pick uh, Shoto against him. I was trying to learn the ball rock match at final round, and right. we got close, but I missed a couple moves, and I got so pissed I punched the screen. And <laughs> uh, that's typical for me, though. Well, punch the screen, tough guy. I punched the screen. Cool. Screen and. Definitely not a gambling problem or anything. Uh, that's typical for me, though. Well, I'm not saying I'm picking Chun Li because you got problems against her or I saw something or whatever. It's just when I'm be I'm best with Chun Li, so All right. why not bring my best character against you instead of bullshit? Well, just to let you know, for money matches, I picked the best characters in that matchup, so this should be quick. Ooh. Okay. Hey, whatever works for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna get mad at you. This is about money. I don't expect you to do anything less. Yeah, hey, we're gonna do this at Evo, right? Correct. All right, you should post in uh, Cigar Bob's thread that you're challenging me for the money match, and he'll put it up did. in the first post. Oh, you did? Okay. Hey, pick up on paper. The screen won that fist fight, by the way. Yeah, no. Phil Phil yelled at the screen and said, "Screen and said he was an alcoholic." <laughs> oh, the Scarface CD. Cast it aside. Two gold stars there. 
So there, th th we just heard him say, you better post it on Cigar Bob's thread. And I'm showing you Cigar Bob's thread. Yes. And yeah, we're going to do this at Evo, right? Correct. All right, you should post in uh, Cigar Bob's thread that you're challenging me for the money match, and he'll put it up in the first post. Oh, you did? Oh, good yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't checked it in a day, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't expect you to check it every day, so I'll get it. He does, though. But, uh, yeah, but if you have to go the Sagat route, man, I might have to switch it up myself. Sagat? Who picks Sagat? Huh. I'm not Justin Wong. Oh, wow, that's a Justin Wong thing? <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's a Justin Wong only thing. Justin Wong and John Choi are the only people that even play old Sagat in the U.S. Uh, okay. uh, I could play old Sagat. I'm not probably their level, but I can still play Old Sagat. Uh, everyone can play Old Sagat. That's the problem. Ooh, shade thrown at Justin Wong here? I haven't listened to this. I don't know what's coming. Good old Fireball Wars. Uh, old Sagat versus Old Sagat. Uh. But I'm not even sure about what. I don't even sure what who you're gonna pick against me if you say if it's not also got because that's who I immediately thought of. Well, you should go ask Nick who I was beating him with at final round in casuals, and uh, I don't know who Nick is. Then you'll have your answer. I know. Shut the fuck up. I hate what he does. This. If you go ask this guy, then he'll tell you who I played last year on that one game. Just say it. <laughs> God. If you ask, why don't you go ask Billy who played him, okay? Why don't you just say it now? How old are you, sir? I was beating him with thought of. Well, you should go ask Nick who I was beating him with at final round in casuals, and uh, I don't know who Nick you, is. Then you'll have your answer. NKI. Oh, okay. Uh, see, I never met the cat in person. I haven't been to Evo since 2004. 2004. And... <laughs> Kai said that one of the pictures of Shoda Khan Symphony's girlfriend. She... <laughs> oh, that... I think the super derailed. Know, but you know. Angela says hi, by the way. Ooh, hold on. With, with Angela. You know. yeah, Angela says hi, by the way. Tell us. Ooh, big ups on paper. You got the left side of the Cannon Brothers card. You have to get the right side now to get the full set. Do not sell that on eBay. Say hi. <laughs> And she's at the club tonight, so we won't bug her. Oh, All right, not we're, not, we're not getting into Angela again. Angela's here. Calm down, everybody. We already heard this episode. If you want to hear this, this Angela talk, go to the Angela episode. <laughs> All right, let's get back. Only three more posts to go through. Uh, 142, uh, this is DSP. At, one, at 142, it says, I accept. Post it up. All right, we got the first post it up. Been saying post it up. It's at least 2007. Uh, 154. Now, this is really odd again. I, I hate to kind of end on this kind of note, but I mean, I have to end how the thread ends. Um, Watson says, I would love to enter any Cigar Bob tourneys. Too bad he isn't around anymore to reply to my questions. I have a few questions for your tourney, bro. So come out of the woodwork and let's do this. Um, Cigar Bob, step, step out of the woodwork shop, man. M miss you. Where are you? Another day goes by and still no sign of Neil. Where are you at, dude? Uh, Cigar Bob is gone. He is, he is just not in this thread. Um, oh, and D Dream TR says, I'm making him build cabinets for something. Uh, no, 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 he posts after this. He did not pass away. I mean, maybe he has since this time, but he posts after this on this thread. So it's not like he passed away at this time. Uh, but um, I, don't, I can't prove this is DSP, but I think it is. Uh, it's too bad Neil went MIA again, but one thing I want to address in this thread, I've decided that I will not be doing any mini matches at any of the Evos and probably not at any tournament at all from this point forward. So any matches set up in this thread so far, whether accepted or not, are now off. Sorry for the trouble. DSP backing out of money matches again. He's done doing any sort of money matches whatsoever. This is May 2007. Mr. Wizard is the final post saying, I'm going to go ahead and close this thread seeing how Cigar Bob is MIA and is probably going to be exiled from the community, is what he says here on the bottom. Uh, and he was not exiled because he came back. I just don't know what happened to this thread. It's just, it's kind of done. Uh, and that is it. So that will end it for tonight. I uh, hate to end on that kind of cliffhanger. We don't know what happened, but Cigar Bob, his next literal thread is like normal talking, like nothing happened. So maybe... Like, maybe it was just what Dream said. I'm making him build cabinets. He's busy. But it's just kind of weird, for sure. It did end kind of, it just out of nowhere ended. But 
I still felt it was worth going over because there was some gold in there. And we just learned a lot about what people thought about DSP during this time. Uh, and this, I think, was one of the... This is a good fucking episode. <laughs> it's not because of me or anything, but I think this showed a lot about the insight of both what people thought about DSP at this time, right? 2006, 2005. And what they thought about his win, right? People thought it was a fluke. People thought he didn't have skill. And how... Like, no, no one... He knows he's being hated on already, too. Let's not forget that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it just shows how he backs out of every fucking bet possible. And he has un, unrelenting excuses. Unrelenting excuses for when he does lose. If you don't care, you don't care. You don't say, I was drunk. <laughs> I was drunk. The control sucked. I just took four shots. I ate dinner. I was, I was out of it. And then say you don't care. Because if you don't care, you don't have to say all those other parts, right? If you don't care about something, you don't have to give 18,000 things before saying what that you don't care, right? So that was it. What a show. The money match between Afro Legends and DSP and a lot of extra stuff as well. But, uh, Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. A lot of fucking fun today I had. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, everybody, for the contributions. And we are back live in eight hours from now. A little bit more than eight hours. 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a pre-style show to get us ready for that being said that goes live Halloween special tomorrow with Ludwig World Order. You're all legends. Don't you fucking forget it. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out in the Density Scrolls. See you next time.